I'll mute Hello? myself. All right, what's up, Larics? Yo, what's up, dude? Ralph Retort, you know, big fan. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, you're a legendary entertainer. Well, thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Um, very nice. I, I appreciate that. Uh, so you've been covering total commentary death though. I have what, been. What, what do we got? What? Actually, I use destruction because I didn't want to use death because they might try to demonetize me or something like that. So I changed. Oh yeah, quick. I know. I know. Yeah. I know how you run shit on Rumble, but we are on YouTube. If we just keep the hard R's to a minimum. Yeah, I don't. I, I've I've used that word only against white people, though. I, that's how I always uh, <laughs> clarify things. Wigger, Wigger is all good, though. Wigger, Wigger yeah, Wigger that's all always wants. good. But uh, the N bomb itself, I've only dropped uh, towards white people and when extremely inebriated. So I'm I'm completely sober. I won't. I won't drop any any what, words like that. I get you demonetized. Real quick question. Real quick question before we get to the commentary shit. What do you think of Michael Alberto? Because the most recent stream I saw from you is when you uh like raped his shit for thirty straight minutes. But now you guys are good. What's like? What's the thing between you two? I like Michael Alberto. I think he's a pretty good guy. Uh, been very nice to me. <laughs> is that crazy? Wait, then, well, I mean, you can imagine. I'm surprised though, because it was fucking hilarious that stream you did. Uh, like 30 minutes just raping him like he and I don't know why he didn't leave he yeah, just like I, stayed there for the entire time like well I went you know I, mean? I went very hard uh on Alberto for sure on that stream and for many months uh, before that but I mean it's it's just shit talking online and it was pretty personal but uh you, <laughs> you, know, have, you have anything against him or just shit talk no I genuinely like him we talked a lot since then uh and we have no beef whatsoever do you like well, him because he takes your abuse? Okay, Colton. Who uh, is this guy? Colton, Colton. Yeah, you're removed. Okay, I don't, it's just a random tard. All right, though. By well, way, I guess. Uh, as far as taking my abuse, I mean, he was. He said some shit back to me. Uh, now he was a lot nicer even then than I was, but you know, he took some shots at me and covered some stuff against me and stuff like that. Um, Alberto. Yeah, back when we were fighting. Uh, not a lot though. He's a pretty nice guy. <laughs> I mean, Alberto's pretty. That was nice. a one. come on. Dude, I know you're friends with him now, but that was a one-sided stream. I mean, all he said, like, it took him, like, stream, 20 minutes yes, to get yes, into yes. bringing that, up how you have, like, a drug addiction. That's all he had to say. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, I mean, I I did, and you don't ever not have a drug addiction, so he was telling the truth uh, about that. But, uh, yeah, I was on drugs, actually, when I went off on him for 30 minutes straight. I mean, I know it was entertaining, and it was, uh, you know, over the top, <laughs> take but those I was drugs fucked often, up. Man. I don't even remember doing that, most of that. So, yeah. I mean, he wasn't lying about that, but uh, yeah, I like Michael a lot. I think he's a nice, I'll say kid. What do you like? What do you like about him? Uh, oh, let me get a drink of water. I wasn't uh, fumbling my words there. Um, well, he's really nice and genuine in my opinion. Uh, and I think he's really good, particularly, uh, with his scripted videos and on a panel. I think, I think when there's an interlocutor there, um, the best comes out of him. And, you know, I think, I think he, Pretty honest. I, I haven't had him lie about me, or if if I if he does say something false, uh, it's seemingly just because he's got bad information. He usually prefaces that even like I don't know this or that. I well, I mean, I assume you. I from the brief things I know about you, I assume you just operate on if they fuck you over, then you're they're your enemy. Or if not, if they're cool to you, then they're like you're cool with them and friends. But I mean, Michael Alberto is the last thing from being like an honest, I guess narrator. Well, we can get you into see that. his video on Diorio. Yeah, we can get into that, but um, yeah, I mean, if somebody goes at me, most likely I'm going to go at them. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's, that's safe to say. Um, but uh, yeah, I did see his video on Diorio. But I, you know, you did? I, yeah, I did. We watched it on air. What did you think of it? I thought it was well put together. I can't really speak to the specific allegations. Uh, well, do you know like any of the context on that situation or no? I mean, a little bit. Um, I know Zaptai kind of like i'm not really in the commentary community and even youtube itself even though i've done a lot of youtube a lot of rumble whatever you want to call it um i'm kind of removed from it so i didn't grow up watching all these people i don't give a fuck about these people well here i can i can give you a quick this is this yeah. is like a good summary of that michael alberto video basically he did a whole segment talking about diorio and how he was saying that diorio falsely accused him of being a pedophile and what was his proof of this diorio posting a meme uh twitter post saying who who is worse in this picture? And that picture of Bill Cosby, like Epstein, mini lad, like a YouTube pedo, and like some random boxer, and then Michael Alberto. And then he was unironic. I don't know if you remember in his video, he was unironically saying that this was a serious allegation of pedophilia. 
So I mean, my, he's just a. I mean, if you want my opinion on that, and when I watched it, I kind of um, stayed out because I, I don't have personal beef against Diorio, although I think he looks like a fool in this whole Keemstar group chat stuff and looks really uh, bad. Although he did kind of he didn't sue over the dick pic. There's a couple things he didn't do, so I won't, I won't say that. But I thought everybody involved looks terrible uh, as far as the group chat goes. As far as that specific thing, I would say that he was kind of implying um, that Alberto was some kind of sexual. Uh, you know, I don't know if you want to say pedophile or you know, like a sick fuck, right? Like he's got him next to Bill Cosby and like, like other. I think the majority. Right? I think the majority like of people would see that and just see it as a meme trying to rage yeah, bait Alberto. Yeah, but is it really a meme? Come on, now. Uh, is it just a meme when they they say the things they say about you, like calling you a pedophile and stuff like that, or people just joking? Around <laughs> there? I mean, you know what I mean. Well, Lollicon lyrics and all that. I, I even alluded to. Well, it I would think bit, like but. the tweet, the tweet you sent at me. I wouldn't say that's a serious <laughs> allegation of pedophilia. And that's well, the difference was... between Michael and most people is that he's so he's like blinded his eyes. His his eyesight's can be been completely blinded by his hatred of Diorio. Well, that I he sees to... every little thing that he does as as if it's like the most malicious thing as possible. Well, I wanted to reference it, but also, you know, I was keeping it light. There's just... Zanny Berries and some others. I, I don't necessarily keep it and light. And we're stank on Twitter. N word stink, the guy with blackface. That's the yeah, reliable yeah, yeah, yeah. narrator. Yeah, well, I like Zanny Berries a lot, but there's some things he'll say I won't say. Uh, I did read one of the retweets is pretty, pretty uh, touchy uh, as far as that. But I mean, you know, I, I think that Diorio was kind of wanting you to think that Dior or not Diorio, but Alberto has, you know. Like he's fucked up. Like who else was on that picture? It was Bill Cosby? It wasn't Epstein there? Um, and some others. I mean, is it just? funny or is he like implying that alberto's like a really sick fuck i mean i don't know i i won't say it's a flat out um pedophile accusation i, I can't agree well you that. know Deno you know diorio like yeah. you know his reputation he's decently respected to think that looking at his whole catalog diorio would randomly try to imply someone as a pedophile over this scene like that he's been well, so trustworthy on 99 percent of his, most things he's done that's a ridiculous claim you know well, I, to think I, that I, now, out of the out of the blue, out of like being, he's made a career off of defending people from false allegations. He would now imply someone's a pedophile and do it in this retarded way of putting a meme photo of him against Bill Cosby. I mean, this is, it's nothing. Well, I, I just said I couldn't say it's a flat out pedophile accusation, yeah. I, but I do think it's definitely throwing shade on a different level, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, it's it's not just poking. I mean, we we. Yeah, I know you're friends with Michael, so we can move on from there, though. But you said you had some critiques of Diorio looking gay or whatever in the group chat. What are your main critiques of Diorio from the group chat leaks? Well, I mean, I think everybody in it looks terrible, and, and they cut a whole completely different posture in public, uh, right? Anti-doxing, you know, anti uh, whatever harassment like it, it's a different type of mentality we don't have that harassment. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like they they tried to um, you know, cut a different figure in public. Like they're doxing IPs. They're trying to have Salvo arrested. They're openly talking about, you know, setting him up on. Yeah, we could, we could go, we could go one by one, but quickly with the Diorio thing. So the rundown for Diorio is that Diorio admitted that he flagged Salvo's video where Salvo on YouTube doxed Diorio's number. He openly called Diorio's number on YouTube and doxed it for his whole live stream. So Diorio saw that and obviously flagged it. Now, do you think that's a justified flag or not? I don't like flagging for content reasons. Uh, I've Even if someone for leaks DMT. your number, I've had my number leaked. Yeah, but not, whether or not like you personally had people attack what? me in the streets, like I, I don't know, you're probably talking the wrong one. Attack you in the streets, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Okay, uh, whether or not whether or not you're personally okay with it, though, as a general rule, I think it's very justified. If someone leaks your number, you can flag it down for literally doxing you. Like, well, that's... so my thing is, are you anti-flagging or not? I'm anti-false flagging, but I think this is a justified flag. So when you start splitting it off, uh, it changes the... So either you're against flagging... I, I, again, I, I'm not against all flagging. I've never claimed to, to be that way. Uh, I flag people who've stolen content from locals. Um, there's a couple other situations. Usually it's just bonus content or something like that. Uh, but I've never claimed that. I've never claimed to be anti-doxing in any way whatsoever. Uh, and I'm, I won't say pro-doxing, but if somebody fucks around and gets exposed and they were fucking with somebody, well, that's how it goes online. Uh, but that's not the stance of the commentary community. You would think, oh, my God, doxing, oh, it's like, uh, 
you know, a grave sin or something like that. Well, I mean, you're just painting a wide brush. I mean, this isn't true. Well, like people like Britt Bong, I don't know perceived. if you're familiar with them. Go ahead. Well, yeah, that is generally the take for false flagging, though. That's where you're getting it confused. There's always going to be justified flags between everyone. Obviously, if someone shows like a naked picture of your fucking wife on stream, you can flag it. And that's not going to be a false flag. Like the commentary community was never above that. I don't think anyone would ever think that they wouldn't be justified in doing so. So similar thing with a number. If someone leaks literally your docs or private number, that's going to get you fucked. Where Diorio, that really fucked him over. He had to change his number, pay money for that shit after getting all the spam calls. I think it's very justified that you can flag that. And that's it's never been the take of anyone that all flagging inherently is bad. Well, I've you know seen that take. I don't know if you've been around. Like, I've seen that take. From who? Uh, well, I, I mean, Britt Bong, do you know who he is? Augie That's a guy who flagged. Specifically, but I'm just saying I've seen that take that no flagging whatsoever. Just don't flag. Um, I think that there can be, you know, justifications, but I don't think... Um, I don't think the story really adds up because, you know, that's been said, but we also have Keemstar in there flagging him uh, immediately whenever he pops up for any reason whatsoever. They're sitting in this group chat obsessing about Salvo all year long. Uh, you know, they're literally trying to put criminal cases on him. So you say, oh, he got his <laughs> okay, number. Okay, wait, hold on. Well, they are. Hold on. They tried to frame criminal him as a cases. rapist. Like, they had this bitch in there. Like, Keemstar's talking about coaching this this girl to say he's a rapist and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, okay. is it cool so or is it not? Like, I mean, if anything goes, so, if anything goes, that's fine. But like, I from what I've seen, I saw that Salvo put out these leaks saying that he was claiming that Turkey Tom and Keemstar was trying to frame him to be a pedophile when they were trying to hire the predator poachers to try to get him to, you know, get caught with a little I mean, girl or like a, a thirteen year old. Do you think they were just joking around? Since there's no evidence of Keemstar following up with it or Turkey Tom following up with it, I think the obvious implication is that it would be a joke. And if Salvo wants people to take his jokes of grooming Tommy C's kid, if he wants people to take that as tongue in cheek, then he can't morally fag over people talking about, uh, you know, getting him to uh, get hiring the predator poachers to try to paint him out to be a pedo and see if he would get caught. He can't have it both ways. If he wants people to take his edgy jokes as jokes, he has to let other people do the same thing. Well, I don't really... Uh, you know, maybe I would be more likely to believe that if they weren't sitting around looking for ways to fuck this guy over and Augie sitting there talking about if I could, if it was legal, I would kill him. And I don't, that doesn't read like, a, and again, I don't have personal beef with Augie, especially, you know, we squashed a lot of problems we had, but I mean, you're sitting in a group chat talking about if it was legal to kill this guy, he deserves to be dead. And you know, there's countless scores of examples. We went over a bunch of them earlier with Salvo himself. Like, I mean, is it comedy or was Augie joking when he said that or? So I hear you out. But as I said earlier, like Salvo, he has a history of doing a lot of insane shit. Like, I don't know if you're familiar, but he was good friends with Keemstar. He did the whole Keemstar show with them. And while they were still friends and cool with each other, Keemstar, I mean, uh, Salvo would privately record them talking just like while he's in their house, like the whole time while they were friends with each other. Insane shit, insane behavior. So if you're trying to point out a pattern with the commentary community being obsessed and try to use that as justification that they may not have been joking about hiring the predator poachers to try to frame them to be a pedo, Salvo has even a worse history of doing insane shit. So when I see tweets of him saying that he wants to groom Tommy C's kid, I, <laughs> with the same logic, I would have to believe that too, that Salvo is actually a pedophile who wants to rape his kid. Yeah, I don't know this. I can't comment on the, the Tommy C thing. I, I'm not familiar with you that. You want me to send you the tweet? <laughs> you can send it if you want. Um, I'll send it. But I mean, it's great. <laughs> look, I, I, you know, I, that's not my tweet. I can't, I can't say uh, with, everything, I'll put in the chat. with everything there. Okay, I'll pull it up. Um, but, you know, I did Salvo put out any of this? I mean, clearly Keem was keeping tabs on everything too, right? Like, I. I don't know. I, to me, it doesn't jive as something just Salvo did out of out of spite or or anything like that. He probably felt like he needed to have some dirt on Keem for when the inevitable happened, which is exactly what happened. I mean, I don't I don't know. It's um, you know Keem's dropping well, I guess all the this dirt, stuff and yeah, go ahead. The dirt didn't end up being too useful because the best clip that he got from the audio recordings was just Keemstar explaining how tight his twenty year old girl's pussy is. So I mean, <laughs> that was all the leaks that showed from the audio recordings, but um. Well, the one I mean, that just seems seat, like insane. If you're you cool, like imagine you're friends with people, yeah. like imagine you're friends with someone 
and you invite them to your house and there's and then you find out months later that they were recording secret calls of you guys just talking i mean that's insane this has happened to me not in real life uh but but you can agree that's insane like that person yeah, is nuts fucked. i mean i i can't lie about that uh, but also context and why did he feel again i haven't asked him these questions um but why would he feel like he he wanted to have that or maybe he was just recording for fun and then it turned into <laughs> something else i mean it could i like a lot of people do that i mean i don't uh but i mean hey man you're being very charitable but i think given salvo's track history of a lot of insane behavior similar to this like doxing people's numbers uh literally pulling up to deaf noodles comedy show uh he's he seems like a pretty insane character so i don't think it's too far-fetched to believe that he would do these things out of malicious intent and i don't think he's really given himself many excuses to uh for okay, people so to give him the benefit of the doubt or charitability pay money by keemstar uh decent money from what i heard maybe not enough uh for some of the travel and stuff he had to do so you're telling me his plan was to sign on with keemstar sign up to do a show and that he was undercover collecting all this dirt just so he could what destroy his own fucking life because that's kind of what happened to him uh and personal relationships and all this stuff thrown out in the street uh true and untrue and spun a certain way and trying to portray him as a sexual deviant etc was that the was that the big plan here? Because that doesn't make any sense. Um, I couldn't tell you. Salvo actually said he left the Keemstar show. So I don't I don't know what the true narrative is there. If Keemstar okay. fired him or if he left him. So if he so, left, I mean, then what? You know, they all immediately went in on him after he left. So is that cool? Why didn't they just leave him alone like he was leaving? Um, you know, Keemstar felt like he was backstabbed one way or another. Uh, so is that I cool, couldn't right? tell like, you I mean, necessarily what he did back then in January or December. Uh, I don't remember Keem's standpoint from that, but uh, Keemstar felt he was backstabbed for whatever reason. That's all I know. Well, but I'm not justifying Keemstar necessarily. Well, let's say I'm Keem more, feels uh, backstabbed, you know, when somebody doesn't open the door for him at Starbucks. Like, I mean, I, I, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I felt backstabbed before, too. Does that mean everything I did to that person is cool? Well, a lot of people don't think so um you know anybody could justify it and say well i was back to that fuck that uh and i have but i i don't know it just seems like an insane amount of focus on salvo to the point of and i i don't know i guess you say it's a joke the pedo thing but the and again i don't know that i agree with that but the, the stuff with the bad <laughs> chick and trying to say that um you know that the threesome he had was actually a rape now and coaching her on what to Wait, so, say so so i mean what so i mean what's your critique that keem is too obsessed i mean salvo's yeah. whole career is just being obsessed over random other people so i mean you know it doesn't really hold that much water well, this is a former You're partner to make a point for of him. his they did a show together and okay it ended but what now you gotta fuck up this guy's life and fuck up every connection he has and you can say whatever salvo did i mean that's not really what we're talking about we're talking about what keemstar did right um and so i don't it doesn't seem it's very vindictive huh? and then when it gets turned back on you and all this group chat leaks and all this dirt you were doing leaks i mean I well i know keemstar is vindictive i mean no one no one would dispute well, that but necessarily i wouldn't and all these group chats leaked and i was doing all these things to somebody or well, i don't think anyone would care if it was you because you've already done like way worse well, shit publicly okay, and admitted uh, to it right well that's <laughs> i mean you just point. own that shit and wouldn't care right well that's kind of my point though it's like well yeah everything i do i've talked about like it's there uh but okay but say it was somebody else right or somebody the commentary community um didn't like or focus so imagine it was tipster and he was behind the scenes and he had all these uh, smaller YouTubers in there and he was telling them what to do and get on this show and be at my house by one and let's uh, fuck this guy's life and report his Twitter as soon as you see it. Imagine he was doing that to Augie every time he popped up or Diario and it was working, right? Imagine it was actually working and he was you know, getting Diorio wiped off or getting Augie wiped off. And no, you can shit on Keemstar. I, I want Keemstar to make a statement on this. He's probably not because he's way, it would be, optically retarded for keemstar to ever even well, like talk about the shit like he's this watching the shows like i mean yeah i mean i mean around. publicly though publicly though he would be retarded to talk about it but necessarily i don't think keemstar has much justification aside from i think he was mad that apparently salvo doxed his girlfriend's full name in a discord server um so apparently salvo did that which would give keemstar justification but um more what i'm concerned about is that Chris the Narcs is justified in flagging him, so, uh, and Diorio is justified in flagging him. And that explains why all of his, uh, most of his Twitter accounts got taken down and his YouTube channels got taken down.
And I think they're justified in doing that because he docks Chris the Narc's number posted on Twitter, which would explain his Twitter getting taken down. And he docks Diorio's number, literally calling it on stream and showing the chat uh, live on YouTube. And, you know, you know, what's this uh, slimy shit about Salvo, too? Sorry. I mean, he's trying to act like a badass, like he admitted to it uh, on your stream and other people's, too. Like he just openly admits to it. And the pro he's calling out the commentary community for being hypocritical because they act like they're above it, but they do the same things. That's not true. Salvo just a few days ago was on my stream and denied that he ever doxed anybody, acting like he was above it. And then uh, earlier on, an hour into the conversation, we pull up proof that he actually did dox Chris the Narc and Diorio live. And he gets caught live, and then he says, oh, I guess I did do it. So, I mean, th this, isn't, I wouldn't be, this wouldn't be the guy to side with. He's a complete tard. Well, from my point of view, uh, Keemstar's a rat. And Salvo was on the way up last year, and Keemstar latched onto him and sucked his energy out of him and used it for his own purposes and blackballed me off one of Salvo's shows and was bossing Salvo around and telling him where he can and can't stream because Keem's that type of dude. And it's not really about um, trying to enhance somebody else. It's about enhancing Keemstar. And I saw it happen with my own eyes and the the – of course, Salvo is hilarious. I think he's a great entertainer. But and I talked about this earlier. What really made him um, a thing and great in the first place? You didn't know where he was going to go. Uh, you didn't know what he might do or who he might have on his show or this. And I know a little bit about this uh, <laughs> myself. Uh, and that element uh, is something that you know can separate you away from other people. An unpredictable uh, nature and. You don't know who he might take a shot at, or you don't know what bit he's going to do, or who he might bring on. Those things are uh, in, invaluable. And once you have, you know, um, Keemstar David, you said that earlier. Okay, I'll use that one. Uh, Keemstar of David, uh, you know, trying to manage you and box you in. And, oh, Ralph, oh, we can't have him on. Oh, my God. He, no, Salvo. Or, no, you can't stream on yeah, here. I don't, um, I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know your personal qualms of Keemstar, but well, the best I defense lot, I would give to him. Well, Keemstar used to uh, the come personal on the defense. stream all the time, Larry. I mean, I don't know if you know that, but back in the day, Keemstar's been on this show 15 or 20 times. Well, uh, I mean, you you can admit, though, he would be retarded to do that now. I mean, he is running the whole boxing shit. I mean, optically, yeah, that would be so Yeah, but that's not why. So I stupid. guarantee you if shit was on fire, and things are going fine now, but if it was like the talk of the town, like it was, uh, you know, in, in 2018 when we were on YouTube, and it's harder when you're on an alt platform, uh, but I was at the number one show in the the whole fucking nighttime period uh, in the late night shift. And Keemstar was there every fucking night. Uh, and when he thinks he can get something out of somebody, he'll be there. Uh, and so I agree. Yeah, I mean, it would be kind of dangerous or weird to come on now when he's trying to do this boxing thing and trying to cut a different figure. But that's still the same guy he is. I mean, just read the read the group chats. Uh, and he's still pro-transgender, tra <coughs> I'll say, since we're on YouTube. Um, <laughs> he's still pro-transgender in public. He's not in private. He's talking about how to get him out of his house, and they're weird, and we got to, ugh, like, what? What's going on? They won't leave when I tell them to leave. That's still Keemstar. Like, he didn't okay, here. Okay, okay, here. Keep it, keeping it on this topic, though. The best defense I would give Keemstar star to show that he's not malicious in this case if i had to play complete devil's advocate is that he um he we're blaming him for doxing and the main crime he did in this chat is doxing right it's like showing yeah, after look. salvo bought some keemstar merch yes is that yes, um he, that. he posted in the chat hey this salvo bought this t-shirt and it showed his full name and address right so for keemstar doing that i think if this he was truly trying to maliciously dox him and fuck over salvo with his address I think he would have done it in a lot more slimy of a way that would have actually impacted him. But those no that way. docs stayed in that private group chat for months. If he really wanted to fuck over Salvo, why wouldn't he release it publicly well, look, and do the most he can to get him fucked over? Okay, so who's going to do more damage? Random people online or the whole cabal of people who hate Salvo and have been talking about we would kill him if it was legal and flagging down his every move? I mean, which is more dangerous? Sharing it to I don't know if you're Kiwi Farms I don't know who if probably won't care or this group of people who actively see and hate Salvo? Dude, Ralph, come on. Not being serious. Kiwi Farms, are you kidding me? That is like the, sp that is the spot to get someone fucked. What are you going to tell me about Kiwi, Kiwi Farms, Farms lyrics? Like, listen. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Do you know who the people were in the group chat? It was huge YouTubers, where if they would publicly release this information on Salvo, that would fuck over their credibility. I'm not talking about shit credibility. they would do in public. I'm saying what they might do what, in what do you, private. I mean, not, I'm not you even. You really think they would harm. go to his house and kill him, or There's like send like a bomb to his do house? To people just by having their address, lyrics. You don't have to go kill them or beat them upside the head with a club. Um, 
you know, maybe you what, what do you think to their what neighbors. Think? Maybe you put up some shit around their house. Maybe you send them a ton of bricks that they didn't order. Like, I mean, I don't know. I've been around for a while. Okay, I've seen a lot of shit, in, brother. I can tell you. Yeah, I think you it's, can do with somebody's address. It's, Not from personal. <laughs> I would never. Uh, but I'm just saying, there's a lot of shit. Okay, you can but do with obviously, dude. What I'm saying though, it is demonstrably worse to release it publicly and to Kiwi Farm someone's address where you get a whole bunch of like random motherfuckers who have nothing to lose to give them that information rather than a whole bunch of people you trust in a group chat of people that you're acquaintances with uh, who are fellow YouTubers. They hate. There's look, a huge difference first there. First off, some of these people are scrub. Like I, I don't know, like fellow YouTuber. Yeah, okay. Some of them are got some, you know, like stats. I mean, I think whatever. the smallest is like Chris the Narc was like maybe 8K, but I mean, you got like Mudahar in there, Wavy Web Surf, million subscriber YouTubers. I mean, these are like for the most part trustworthy people. I don't like these aren't these aren't the motherfuckers yeah. who would pull up at his house and I'm throw. I'm not saying they have you know. to pull up at his house. I'm saying, look, okay, but has to have send some pizzas, do anything. Right? Like, I mean, I wouldn't rule something like that out. I don't know. I mean, I fuck with him in some way. Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay, Doggy's dude. talking about he wants to kill him. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know what to say. Like, do you think it's out of control that he may do? So? And again, I, I don't have a problem with Augie. Do you take that saying, as like? Do you take that as a serious threat? Do you think Augie would really I mean, go to his house? I and don't like, know. It was like I don't think he would kill him. I mean, I've said wild shit like that on air too. Like, I mean, I'm not sitting here as the moral arbiter. I just got through earlier today saying if Andy Worski and Fat Boy's plane ran into their house overnight, I would wake up and laugh about it. Like, I, you know, I'm just being so honest. then. What's so then? What's your issue? You're pointing out hypocrisy that they act above it, but they do the same thing. Is that what you're saying? Basically, yeah. And the fact that all these people you mentioned Mudahar, I didn't even bring that up. Uh, you mentioned. Uh, Keem sharing his address. I didn't bring that up either. All these million big superstar, you, Turkey Tom himself has got a shit ton of subscribers. All these people are sitting in a group chat just as dirty as can be. And what, that's not a story? I mean, you can justify any uh, variable in there if you want to do that. Look, I'm not the moral police. I don't really give a fuck about that sort of thing. Uh, but what I give a fuck about is, yeah, all these big shot YouTubers. Mudahar is the first one to pop off on Twitter. Tut, tut, like he's some moral authority. He was fucking with Boogie two days ago because Boogie fucks young pussy. Like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> big fat Boogie, like, they ought to give him a medal just for being able to fuck in the first place. Like, you know what I mean? Like, who cares? Is she legal? Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, you all knew she was legal the uh, whole time in Keem's case? Okay, well, who cares? Like, is that really some moral quandary to use a term from a video we watched earlier? I, I, I don't know. Uh, you see all well, these I think people the like him in there, and and it's what it's cool. Like, you guys didn't say anything, and maybe they didn't see every single fucking message, you know, or whatever. But it's suspect. And if it was a group they didn't like, they'd be treating it as the crime of the century. Well, I think like the main critique would be like the main thing would be the doxing. That's like seemingly the things that everyone's uh, pearl clutching over. And I think you would have to prove that uh, you'd have to show one to one statement of an hypocrisy of Nick DiOrio, Chris the Narc, or Keemstar saying that they're above doxing, yet they're actually doing it behind the scenes. Well, I'm pretty sure we can find tweets here. where Keemstar's, you know completely anti -doxing. yeah you may be you he may be able, be able to do that with Keemstar the, because Keemstar well, did a similar thing with Just Destiny a couple of years ago that uh he did a similar well, you thing. would think Keemstar was the most anti-flagging person person in existence if you saw the Boulder stream which is one of our more well-known streams old it's like five years old now uh but Monday Matt came on here and got defenestrated for for flagging now he was flagging for like abuse of you know people harassed him or whatever um but, you know, Keemstar came on here and ran him down like he was the, you know, scum of the earth. And I was on that show, and I was actually being nice to him later on in the show. And I was like, oh, you know, things can turn around. Of course, I was completely drunk. But anyway, um, you know, Keemstar <laughs> portrayed himself like, you know, all flagging was bad. I don't think that that's a mischaracterization uh, of Keemstar and how he acts in public uh, is, oh, how can I get somebody's channel restored and doxing's bad and... You know, all this and that. And we haven't even brought up he shared Worski's medical history in the DMs and said Worski, you know, had an MRI and had some issue where he couldn't box. And he was sharing Fro Froggy Fresh's contract with with Creator Clash. I mean, this, this is like next level dirt on other people that he did, too, much less Salvo. I mean, I... I just think I the I think our main disagreement is that I don't think it's that big of a deal if you're sharing private information with people who you trust um, necessarily. You can't. And, uh, what do you I, mean? You can't share. 
I understand what you're saying. It's like, well, this is an off the record conversation. Well, first off, it's not really. You have a troop chat. How many people were in there? Like 20 people? I don't even know the number, but n numerous people. And so you're Keemstar. You're supposed to be this boxing promoter and this businessman. And you're in there revealing, you know, one of your fighters' medical history. You're you're sharing the contracts from a rival promotion. And again, if you got that information, you know, I'm not even going to say don't use it, right? Like, I mean, I, I guess anybody probably would, right? Look it over. But you're sharing all this information in a public... Here, I mean, yeah, you can, you can shit on Keem, but mainly, do you have any disagreements with either Chris the Narc or Diorio? Because Keem, you could definitely point out some hypocrisies here without a shadow of a doubt. I'll give you that. But like Diorio and Chris, I think, are fully justified in their flagging of Salvo. So because... Salvo, and again, I haven't looked at the clip, and I don't know if he held up his number the whole time or whatever. That's happened before. I've seen it happen on air and had it happen to me and been a part of it. Um, so I don't know. He I, called Diorio's number live and showed it nine times on stream. He showed the whole number. Yes. Okay, so he flagged him back. Does that justify flagging him forever, though, now? Like... Um, forever, not necessarily, but I can't well, blame so what's them the time that much. Do you see the think... problem here, though? Once you, once you start, like... Well, I mean, it's a gray road. area. I mean, you, just, you, you can't draw an exact line, but that doesn't mean that everything isn't justified. So, I mean, I can understand their standpoint. If Salvo docks my number, and if he has a new Twitter account, um, I, would be, I would be concerned he's going to dox even more information about me. So, uh, you can understand, like, that concern, right? Well, so you just flag him forever. I mean, it sounds like Israel-Palestine. Like, I mean, I <laughs> right? Like, I, yeah. You know? That's what it something is. From a few days ago, Rob. We're Israel. We got Keemstar on our side, and you guys, Palestine. Yeah, well, I'm pro-Palestinian, uh, but yeah, go ahead. Here, uh, you want me to let me to drag uh, Aiden Projects in here to bring? Yeah, some you more, can because uh, he was going to call in actually to yeah. my show, and then I said, "Well, call back because my audio doesn't pipe through correctly." So yeah, add him in. All right, I added him. You got a nice profile picture on there. You still at war with Leafy? Uh, actually, you know, we talked after that and got along in our, our last little appearance and then he disappeared. I was just ragging on him a little bit cause he fell off the mat. I don't know where he went to hide, um, or whatever, but no, nah, I don't, I don't hate him or anything. I had to, I had to break him a little bit though. That was pretty fun. But, um, no, the last time we talked, we were laughing and then I, I don't really know exactly what happened. I forget now, but uh, he traveled a little bit and then he put out his photo and he was fat. It's funny because he was a fat fuck, and he was trying to call me fat. Uh, and so I guess everybody was roasting. Kingstar included. I think everybody was was roasting him a little bit. And then he just disappeared. I think that really bothered him. Like as far as I know, um, I haven't really seen him since. Also, I'm getting some messages. I'll I'll read this. Um, so yeah, person's right. He said he, he's talking about shit that happened last week. They've been doing that over a year. Well, that's why I was trying to get across that they've been doing this for a long term and it's like okay well well they say well hey here, here's the here's the difference keemstar and chris the narc to my knowledge doxed him only after they he released the numbers keemstar i don't know if keemstar has been flagging him since january if that's true of course yeah, disavow keemstar he's uh they have screenshots of him doing it in january field. for sure yeah keem definitely was I haven't seen those yet, but if that's true, I mean, of course, yeah. I mean, yeah, Keemstar that's true. Is, uh, that's one hundred percent sure. And somebody can link me. Yeah, Percy Cassie is right. Yeah, he has. I know he has because I, I've seen the screenshots. Keem was absolutely flagging him in January. Um, so, but this this is the problem too with people like painting broad strokes. They think like if they think it's a gotcha to like approach some of us with this information as if we won't just obviously disavow it. It's, it's like, of course, if Keem starts doing something unjustifiable, we're not going to defend him. Like we're not just going to sweep randomly for no fucking reason. You know. Yeah, that's look. I you know I give you credit if that's if that's your position, but I'll say for a fact he was definitely flagging him in January, uh, and so, and maybe that was for the reason for uh, doxing Brantley's full name, which is his well, girlfriend. I don't know. I don't know, see, what, I don't know what, what Keemstar's he, justification is though, but yeah. But look, okay, but if you start, well, so then you can say, well, Salvo, okay, well maybe he, he can feel like he showed Diorio's number and went full bore on Chris the Narc. Because, well, they're hanging around Keemstar, and Keemstar is flagging me every time I, you know, get my channel up. And so these guys are all hanging out in a group together, roll together. I guess it's just open season on all of them. I mean, you can see how that could be a line of thought, too, right? Yeah, but like I don't Guilty know. by association? Well, I mean, I, it's a gang, basically, right? Like, I don't know what to say. Like, well, no, just because you're in the group chat doesn't mean necessarily well, you're the mean, one to partake in the action. You can accept that or not. I mean, yeah, I could see somebody accepting that, but I could also see somebody saying, well, 
These birds of a feather. Well, they would obviously they be full of shit. Like, well, if are they? Like, like, I don't know. I mean, in some cases, yes, yes because there was like, to my knowledge. Innocent. Yeah, go ahead. So, to my not, so I used to be in the group chat just because I was in the group chat. I didn't Whoa. know about this. Uh, and also Mudahar. Just okay, so, just so because Mudahar was in the group up. chat. So, you were in the group chat, and there's a screenshot of Diorio uh, out there uh, ragging on you uh, in the group chat. And I was going to ask you why you defend these people uh, quite so hard because they shit on you pretty often uh the oreo says well i mean we had a well hold on let me read yeah, it yeah i saw let me read it he says lyrics coming back is funny but that guy's totally retarded and he will leave again in a week <laughs> that's not being me being overly mean either his brain is like totally fried is what he said yeah i mean that was uh uh maybe 2022 or a couple, at least like maybe seven months ago and uh we had a disagreement i was shitting on some commentary community people mainly i think uh i was throwing some shots at like tom don't want to talk about that too much in depth, no, but um, you're really so at that point, completely. You know, at I that point, okay. yeah, you, uh, you cannot uh, lyrics. What the okay, fuck is okay. wrong with you? I was I, nice. regardless. I'm trying get... to conduct this in a certain manner, but now you're just like <laughs> laying it on the table dude, here. Dude, hey, come on, dude. Let... <laughs> come no. on, bro. So uh, let me let me finish. Let me finish. So we just had a disagreement, and yeah, we're That's what she no, said. I guess necessarily. Right, I'm sorry. Fighting I had, at the time. I had to say that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me finish. I'm sorry. But I mean, yeah. I mean, just like how you said, with you had a fight with Alberto. I mean, you could have a fight with yeah, someone yeah, and then be cool yeah, with them yeah, after yeah, the that's fact. That's true. Right? That's fair. But then why did you even go down that line of questioning then earlier? Like, of course you'd already know. Then you could. A lot of things can be. About what? What are you talking about? I mean, if the you group had a chat? phone out with somebody, you can mend things. Is that what you're saying? Well, that's you were acting like that was. Crazy oh well, okay. When I'm in things with Alberto. <laughs> well, that might. Well, okay. That I Michael Alberto screen was uniquely. There's been a lot more uniquely... serious allegations about things you may have mended, and I won't even bring them up. But everybody knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Gentlemen, I, I kind of just jumped in here in the middle. Nice. Um, what are we? What are we? Uh, where are we at right now with this discussion? Like, what's kind of? Uh, we're basically we dead. We need more content. That's yeah. why we invited you. <laughs> okay. okay. So, I, I guess. Bring like, the heat. Bring the heat bring the heat um i mean i kind of disagree with both of you i think that uh i think that the like le leap of logic that like i think what salvo did is flaggable because he aired the private info on his actual channel so it makes sense to flag his channel if keem was to put that info like on drama alert i would absolutely agree with flagging keem off the platform this was in a private group chat which is still bad it's still fucked but um i don't think there would be like a justification for flagging unless keem actually was to put it on his platform um and then yeah we yeah. need to know keem's justification if he did flag which i'm hearing that he did proven so i'm, I'm just i'm interested yeah. to see what his defense is on all that so what know. do you two disagree maybe, maybe he'll call in uh i don't think he, he, he essentially the hypocrisy angle that i've been selling which i think is pretty obvious in a lot of these guys cases especially he brought up mudahar it's like yeah some of these people sitting in there are the biggest moral scolds around now keemstar i mean he's keemstar everybody knows he's a rat um but a lot of these people try to portray themselves differently in public and yeah we're focusing on keemstar because he did a lot of the dirt right um but the other people sitting in there uh, you know i i think that's fucked up uh, in terms of how they try to portray well, themselves yeah. yeah and our and our disagreement he's saying that they that people like dior and people in the commentary uh espouse the beliefs that they're above flagging and i would have to say well you'd have to show that because obviously everyone is in inherently against flagging there is justified flags and there's no there's been no time when diorio has said that he's against flagging in general obviously if someone leaks his number he's going to flag the video but yeah, I guess we're, we're, what we're against or what like the commentary people are against is is false flagging like flagging in itself like there yeah, are many false cases flagging. That justify, yeah. whether you know pedophiles fucking doxing that kind of shit so what is a false flag when you flag uh so like when you flag somebody there's like a list of reasons or grievances you could like give provide like as to why you're flagging them like i don't think when you flag youtube just takes the flag i think it gives you a list of why you're reporting if none of the reasons fit th that criteria then it's a false flag also there's petty so flagging yeah, yeah, like what mundane Matt did, didn't he do? Yeah, some well, shit like right. That? Well, that's so what I was going to ask. So, is it okay to flag if somebody's going hard on you, or it's like harassment, quote unquote? Well, here, or they well, misgendered, the, no. or this or that. The like, general statement. No, yeah, that's like pussy the general. Shit. That's pussy shit. Yeah, here's the thing: the commentary community. This is what usually we say is that if you false, fl no, if you flag over someone calling you like a tranny, or like saying that you're like not respecting your pronouns, or some of that gay shit, or like ca calling you the f slur. If someone flags you over that, like I've been flagged by transgender Jalen before for calling her that on my videos. Of course, the commentary community is above that, even though technically that wouldn't be a false flag, because if I call someone the F slur, I'm technically going against TOS. 
but generally speaking we would still consider that a uh, most people would consider that a false flag just because it's gay and it's like yeah, flagging someone for speech is gay but if you're flagging someone for like things that can cause actual damages like doxing or, or child porn or some shit that's totally okay yeah well the thing is uh, a lot of people think that the other stuff can cause actual damage too the misgendering and the stuff like I mean, I don't. Uh, but, 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 You're gonna I play don't devil's advocate either. this hard. Uh, <laughs> Come on, uh, you can't be defending when, when transgenders. You, like, when you, when you, when you, when you, I'm not. I'm just somebody... saying they don't. They do think that though, right? Like I'm not just saying that. Yeah. And some of these people say, "Well, so and so got bullied into suicide because they were misgendered, and now they hanging from the ceiling beam." Well, obviously, we and, all and we Ralph, all disagree with that though. Right? So Ralph, that's yeah, that, Ralph, that's a valid point. Like if I were arguing with one of those people, they would probably bring that up. But you could just say their actions they can take on their end to like unplug, turn it off when you're doxing somebody turning it off doesn't prevent the docs from still being out there right like it eventually there's nothing you can do on your end um so, so i feel like that's a case okay let just me ask you this does does somebody have the inherent right to privacy if they go online uh to yes. a certain extent of course yeah. as, a, as somebody yeah. who comments on things and like does videos and tries to be a public of course figure. yeah if i pronounce if i if i have my name as lyrix i obviously don't expect people to like leak my full fucking name well look i got yeah. news for you if you go out and you try to be a public figure uh then getting your name outed is just part and parcel of what's going to happen to you well it's one thing to say that yeah like it's it's part of the game necessarily especially in this like community it's part it of the game you wouldn't show that everywhere. much sympathy cnn no 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 right? like yeah. journal, well, journalism the, quote unquote is doxing uh, but i think people cases. deserve i think people deserve the respect of not having that happen though you know which is not when you, when you agree with that i mean well yeah that's what i'm saying though i wouldn't show sympathy for it because it's part of the game necessarily but it's probably better if we live in a world where people don't look up their literal fucking full name docs and leak it well, so as a part to like own someone would it be better yeah probably but what i'm saying is when you go out here and i'm hosting this show and you're live on stream and aiden does streams and salvo does streams well guess what all those people have been docs and when you try to people putting my name in your chat yeah <laughs> they'll the do fuck? that yeah they'll do that uh <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, right? Like you try to be a public figure, you stepped into the arena, uh, and you're probably gonna get docked. Like you're probably gonna be. Well, we agree. We're, we both I, admitted I it would be better to live in a world. It would be but better, would... but it's not unjust for somebody to want to look you up. Really. What? I don't Dude, think it's unjust, come, Ralph. It's you don't think it's unjust? I mean, was it unjust? Yeah, when it's they what happens, outed, but like, it's still unjust. Uh, authors of like political theories and books and Dude, stuff Ralph, like that. If, if, Ralph, if you move. Ralph, if yeah. you move to Chicago and you get shot because it's one of the most high crime cities, you could say it just happened, <laughs> but necessarily that's not just because it's just, you know, like you could call them a retard for going on the train at 3 a.m. Yeah, and getting wrong. shot, but what, that doesn't mean wrong? it's just. You're a public figure trying to if influence get... <laughs> public dialogue and somebody want to know who you are. Yes, yes, that's wrong to look up personal information about someone. Yeah. Now, I mean, I, I can't say that it's inherently wrong. Uh, I could say that the world would be better if nobody cared and they just let it go. But that's this is not, this is I don't, I don't think it's an inherent moral wrong. You're, Aiden, give me give me a hot take. We need something. Well, I mean, you're 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 putting someone in danger, like especially in your sphere, Ralph. Like, do do like do the people you associate with who are trying to maintain their anonymity, like if I were if any of their information were to like be leaked, like they'll just get like harassed by fucking I don't know Antifa or whatever groups come Dude, after you guys. Public like, figures get harassed. Like I don't know what to say. Like, if you don't want to be harassed, don't try to be a public figure. I I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's what it is. Okay. I mean, yeah, you could say the same well, thing with I like a girl. Don't wear, you know, parents saying, saying to a girl, don't wear a skirt if you don't want to be raped. Or it's like to a certain extent, yeah. I mean, if you're wearing revealing clothes, you probably enhance the ability that you're going to get. You I know, can't sexually believe you use on. this metaphor to, to try to. <laughs> but you, to okay, you get the concept of what I'm saying. Yes, I completely get the concept. You get the concept. concept and guess what? Know? They ain't always wrong either. Uh, and so. <laughs> But the rapist is still wrong. Right? Like I, I'm not saying that's right, by the way, but it ain't always wrong. Uh, if you're. Uh, a piece of meat walking in front of a bunch of hungry wild dogs and it's kind of okay. all out there uh you know I, I, yeah there's right? one thing to show like you, you'll you show less sympathy because it's like to a certain extent you well, ask I mean, for I still it, feel but... bad that somebody got raped i, I don't uh, know yeah I it's not just that's, that's, I, no that's, that's all we're saying, saying. We are... i would still be sympathetic okay. but i'd be like okay well you know I, dude i think we i think we agree <laughs> So, I'm sorry you went retarded. out in that, sweetie. I, you know, I, I <laughs> right? I don't know. I'm not, I wouldn't be less sympathetic. I'd just be, okay, I see what, 
Wow. Yeah, but okay, it's not part I mean. of the job to become a YouTuber where necessarily like when you sign the, you know, metaphorical metaphorical contract that you're going to become a YouTuber, you're going to start a contract, you're going to influence people. I don't think necessarily inherently that means that you're signing off on getting your like full name released well, and I private mean, information about you yourself. You kind of are though. Uh, and it's not Okay, we, okay we, we have, this mean, is I'm going just nowhere. Real. How am I wrong? Or, does Chad not all YouTubers me? get dogged. Well, most of them, I don't know, around here most of them do. I I would say even for the most part, most of them do. Um, but if you don't okay, show well, your how, face, if you how, take certain OPSEC, uh, you know, if we're out here showing our face, I mean, I I don't know. Okay, how far would you YouTuber. push the standard, though? Like, how far would you push this into private information? Well, how much standard, if you become a YouTuber? How it is. I mean, it's not my standard. It's just, I mean, do you think you have any privacy in real life? I got news for you. You don't. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to push that. Do you think I it's mean, wrong to leak details about a YouTuber's family if, if like, just because they put themselves out there, like, like the family? Is that part of the game? About, yeah, I that comes with dog thing. I would say that you could say that that's wrong, but that's another reality, uh, and I've had it happen to me, and I've covered other people's and families, and okay, and so families. So what about you. so fa so families? We can agree on you're not signing off. Uh, I'm not signing off, but I'm also just sit. I sit here and tell you the truth. We've we've had people. I've had people go at my families, my dead relatives. I've went in people's families. We joke about yeah, it. Yeah, but you can recognize that it's child, uniquely like, fucked up. Like that. Like up. just because you become a streamer doesn't mean that should happen to you. That's all we're saying. You know. Well, I mean, you know, we should never die. We should live forever. Uh, there should be no disease and no cancer and no war and. This Sorry, all these people are dying in the Middle East. I, I, you know, I don't know. There's, there's how things should be, and then there's how things are. I think you, I think you just have a really warped perception because you're in like one of the most. We're not necessarily me, but I'm the commentary community. You're in this sec sector, you're, you're, sector, you're, you're, whatever the fuck. Dirty as fuck. We just got through talking uh, about that, that for okay, an hour. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, though. I think uh, we, See, even we me, but about. you even oh, have a more of a skewed opinion. And, uh, Listen, you know, it's really, it's way better <laughs> dude, over here. We're not, not bad that's guys. Not what and, uh, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's much more common to have people like N-word stank in your community, <laughs> like with a blackface Twitter profile <laughs> well, picture yeah, to be like, present in the sector versus okay. the commentary community. What is your community? problem with N-word stank, by the way? That guy has it's, really I, been... Dude, I love him. He's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm He sure doxes my full names and calls me pedophile, so I'm a big fan of him. But no, what I'm saying is that uh, I think you just have a skewed reality on this warped at the internet where if the average gaming YouTuber like Markiplier, I like just because he became a YouTuber necessarily, he I don't think he should now sign off and expect to have his phone number, his real name to be leaked, like private information about himself just because he wants to make like, just, shitty gaming way, videos. I didn't say he signed off. But I'm saying when you become a public figure, you get a lot of rewards and you get a lot of good things and people want to know about your life and they want to send you money to do your stream if they like you enough. And when I go out and people know me, I've had to sign autographs, believe it or not. And I don't say have to because it's <laughs> fucking awesome. Uh, and it doesn't happen all the time. But when I was in D.C. and some of these events where like a lot of people are together, uh, I've had I've signed shit. Ralph Mania, we put on a wrestling event earlier this year with a couple hundred people there. Uh, yeah. I've signed autographs. There's a lot of cool things. People write me and say, wow, the kill stream. I was listening when. I mean, yeah, I mean, where we just disagree. I don't think it's a fair. I don't think it's a fair. I don't think it's. There's a lot of good fucking things, but there's a lot of. I don't think it's a fair trade off. I don't think it's a fair trade off. That's where we just disagree. Life's not fair, lyrics. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. There's a lot of bad shit that's come with this, too. And torch relationships and doxes and swatted 12 times and. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's normal. And I don't think that should street. be expected. I wasn't joking earlier. Beaten in the street. Yeah, that's what um, I mean. You have a warped perspective. You're literally getting jumped on. I don't think the average. Like, there's a reason the average YouTuber doesn't get jumped on. That's what I'm trying to explain. They well, shouldn't expect it's that. It's not that it's the average. I mean, people get jumped on. Real fucking celebrities have gotten their house broken into and stalkers camped out and slit their tires. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, okay, we're going in circles. We just disagree. We just disagree. We just disagree. We just disagree. We well, just disagree. Well, I mean, I'm right and you're wrong. Like, I'm not, I'm not making moral <laughs> judgments. I'm just saying that there's one way things are. And I, yeah, I don't know. I think that's just like a, a skewed perspective. But whatever. We too long on that topic. Aiden, By you got way, anything Perspic else? Perspic wants to call in too. Uh, Who's that? And Perspicacity. He's, he's a co host of mine on this. Is show. he going to call me a pedophile? I don't think he'll call you a pedophile, but I think he wants to oh, go great. into the salvo stuff more. Oh. Although I can't, I can't speak for him. So if he does call you that, then. I didn't. It wasn't, <laughs> I, it wasn't planned or anything. I'm not Keemstar. Great. How well, many co-hosts are left, Ralph? You've gone through like the, 
Yeah, all I, got your most, I got rid of most of those bums. Uh, speaking of pedophiles, Gator, hope you're doing well. Uh, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> Gator's a pedophile too? Yes, bro, yes. He, uh, all the fucking lollycons he hangs out with, all the fucking defenses he plays for lollycon, dude. He hangs out with that spooky weeb trash bitch. The dude's a pedophile. Flamenco and other ex calls. Look, I didn't know they were pedophiles when they were with me, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, I have I've went through quite a few co-hosts, um, but Perspex the only like full co-host that we have now. Actually, is Bibble uh, still around? Whatever, whatever that guy's name is. No, nah, Bibble was great actually. I miss Bibble a lot, but he's not still around. We I had no falling out with him, uh, but yeah, Bibble was an ace coach. I'd probably say right there in that top tier for sure. Uh, right next to Zidane, in my opinion, in terms of uh, all time. And I'm the host, so I, my opinion means more than anybody else. But, but, but to cap it all off, your, your qualms are essentially only with Teamstar, or is it like, do you still have qualms with Diorio or anybody else necessarily in the community? And he's a pedophile. So, you know, I'm pretty sure some of them, and I see them, you know, a few of them are making some jokes or whatever in chat, but I didn't see um, what Diorio and Augie said is like, personal attacks necessarily at least from what i've seen uh on me uh and so you know any of my coverage of it i don't know if one of them will take issue with, with anything i said or or takes there but i don't actually have personal uh beef with either one well i mean the way that you I, I assume the way you brand yourself is that it's just like it's just for the show necessarily doesn't really mean you're like true true beliefs about people well, right I, it's just for content no, I don't brand it. I like I'm not fake. No, that's not how I would brand it. Um, but I would say if I had personal animosity for somebody, you would definitely know it immediately. Um, and so, um, no, I don't have personal animosity towards those two. Um, Mudahar, I don't like. Yeah, I would say even though I don't have too many personal dealings with him, I think he's a bitch. Uh, What's that about? Star, well, when they kicked me off Fireball Three, which was Keemstar. Keemstar's doing, I actually thought it was Mudahar and his girlfriend uh, because they went on some Twitch stream and were talking shit about me right before. And so I just assumed it was them who called in the hit, basically. Turns out it was actually Keemstar himself uh, who called it in. But, you know, forgive me for getting that wrong since they were uh, like, oh, I can't believe he's on this or that. I just don't like Mudahar because he's that type of person. Uh, kind of going back to what I said earlier where, you know, he's hanging 7 out. 7-Eleven worker? Yeah, yeah, wait, that type of person? Sus? Yeah, <laughs> no, not that. Uh, although, yeah, he does look like he owns a 7-Eleven. I, I say owns a 7-Eleven. I mean, that's kind of a compliment. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, no, not that. I mean, just like a hypocrite, basically, uh, who's around all kinds of fucked up shit in private uh, and then in public it's like oh Ethan Ralph like oh my here let's br let's bring some let's bring some contention though what's your problems with me okay we had a little bit of a I don't a little have bit of real a... problems with you oh the okay. I mean, do we? I you were... dude I'm a I Ralph Mill supporter wanted, that's a suck my chat made, wanted me to come your chat wants you to call really me a pedophile mean. yeah they wanted me to be really mean and uh you know bring up the stuff I alluded to and go in hard <laughs> on all that stuff um but you know if somebody's talking to me normally and you know on a certain level. I, I don't have a need to get personal. I mean, oh, okay. You start yeah, out so saying tell, tell the, now you may be full of shit. Like, that's possible. But uh, So they tell uh, the lollycon <laughs> waifus. How do you even... What is the lollycon thing? Like, I, I don't know if... Uh, they call you... They say this. I didn't say it, but the I'm the one, I'm see, this I'm the is one the, that see, started the rumor. I'm the one that okay. fucked lyrics over. I'm the one okay. that called him a pedophile. Um, and I <laughs> no, might have been No, this is wrong. the problem, though. Every time I Wait, even what? talk about this, even talking about... He was, he was memeing. Eight, no, eight, I'm nine. not. I'm. I was the first. You, you don't remember? Okay. Now go ahead. Basically, Tell me, what is the deal? And I know. Yeah, talking about. It, I guess. Any. It, yeah. It's. It, this is. This is one of those topics where even if you talk about it, you immediately lose because you just sound like a fucking retard. But you know that doesn't explain sound it. great either. Though it's like, hey, here's this thing they're saying. I can't. <laughs> I mean, no, look, okay. I so I never can't liked, talk about actually. So unfortunately, I so, uh, so just to make I it, just make it a bun. Just to make it abundantly clear, because of course you're new, you don't know the, the context about it. I is that uh, is that I never liked any lollycon or any porn with lolly anything related. You know, I uh, used to draw a little bit in high school, and then I follow a lot of Twitter artists. And yeah, it was cringe anime drawings that I uh, started to like because you know I draw and shit. But at the end of the day, it was no sexual flamenco, weird boy soprano <laughs> shit. It was none of that. So, but you so know, of you course, it's a funny. Really well. Uh, I mean, it sounds gay to say yeah, but I mean, yeah, I draw. No, I mean, I'm asking. Uh, I always, I always thought it was cool. I yeah. can't draw with a shit. So whenever I see somebody who really draw or is a really good artist, I'm like, 
the one yeah. they the but, one but of that course but of course like it's it's funny to it's the thing is though it's funny to laugh at you know lolly con lyrics that's a name that sticks you know it kind of rolls off the tongue. yeah yeah so it is a it is it is a funny thing to laugh at but like of course there's not any genuine like pedo shit like, well okay you know. as you as you as your jewish lawyer, well you step in here you're well my <laughs> chat is going in pretty hard look i don't i genuinely don't know what he did like some is. sussy shit okay we can't like say there was nothing <laughs> he did like some sussy shit the one sussy image that they used, the one underage image, uh, portrayed a teenager in a very, um, in a very suggestible pose that lyrics this liked. This is when he was retarded. Seven, that lyrics liked when he was seventeen. Uh, the the drawing was of a sixteen year old. Um, so yeah, Aiden, sussy. you're like the worst. You're the worst representative of all time. I'm about to kick you. This is fucking horrible. Oh okay. I, I thought I was doing a better job than you. Kill yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. Talking about this is why you don't talk about it. But uh, no, that's context. Here, is your friend joining? We we yeah, need something. Yeah, to pick I this put up. him in there. I know you want to. You know what? That happened earlier when we were talking about something, and then all of a sudden we took a diversion. You know, I'm nice though. Like I guess uh, I, I don't have to t steer it. Although oh, I've been finally added to this. Yeah, call. I just now figured out how to add somebody. Whatever. I don't use Discord anymore. <laughs> they banned me a few years ago, and they banned me again. And I basically just stopped using it. I've been on Telegram mostly. So. I'm waiting waiting in the wings here all right what do you got you know weeds, what we had you wait sorry what do you got you're getting pulled into the weeds about all this stuff on the yeah, doxing first of all you don't give a fuck about doxing what are no. you gonna pretend like you give any fucks about doxing or putting people's names out there let's be real bro well that wasn't well, ralph's claim ralph's claim was hypocrisy that like people are acting above yeah. it and they're actually well, doing they the same thing. Ralph never claimed like he was uh, Nick Diorio, right. Augie, all these guys they go out there and they go oh it's so terrible how could you put somebody's name out there? How could you put that? And they do it all the did time. They, wait, when did they do it? What are you it? talking about? Wait, okay, when did, well, wait, when did they ever do that? Prove this? They've been doing it for years. They're in this group chat. Kim Evidence? Is telling them about, co about coaching this bitch Babs on this fake rape allegation, which is really fucked up. I don't care what you have to say about, oh, doxing, oh, is this, oh, they were justified in flagging, he showed a phone number, which just happened last week. This has been going on for over a year. And you guys are pointing to like last week, all they flaked out. Okay, you have, you're speaking in very vague, broad terms. You yeah, have to be more just, specific to argue. Do you have any argue. proof? Do you have any proof all your Nick doxed anybody? Do I have any proof that they they had access to the docs and so did everybody in that group? Having, ac having access you're to docs retarded. is not doxing somebody. You need to actually post the information. That's doxing. Well, who's to say who posted it? It's it's you're literally written in the group chat who posted knows it. Nothing. What do you mean who's oh to say? God. The fucking logs. It literally says Keem's the one who posted it. Okay. Okay. So everybody's gonna throw Keem under the bus now. Nobody knew anything. Wait. You're this so guy's so gay. Against it, right? You're so what? morally against this thing, but you see Keem is doxing people. You have no problem until it's public, right? Yeah, because that's what doxing is. Yeah, when it's well, publicized, yeah. it becomes doxing. You know talking about you knew he was flagging Salvo. You knew he was putting out Salvo's private information, but you didn't say anything because nobody knew about it. Right? I didn't know about any of this. I don't know oh, who you're please. talking about. Give me a break. I, I wasn't even in the group knew. chat. I, I wasn't even in the group you chat. Knew about it. But lyrics is in Ralph, there. you like this guy? I feel like you would eat a guy like this alive most of the oh, time. Oh, lyrics, don't dodge the point. Come on. Don't dodge the point. <laughs> what did well, I, like, what am I dodging? This guy is on. nothing. This yeah, guy is nothing. This guy is nothing. Oh, lyrics, Answer ad hominem. You see it's going on. You're so against it. Where is your moral outrage? Lay out this argument you're making. You're speaking a lot of vague terms. What are you trying to say? speaking vague terms. They're talking about coaching a woman into saying she was fake raped by Salvo. They're was that not a joke? Number? Yeah. So do, you joke. so do you perceive <laughs> as, wait, wait, so, do you wait, perce so do you perceive sure, Keemstar as saying that we should hire the predator poachers to get Salvo? Do you perceive that as being a real genuine thing? No, that's a joke on stuff that Keem is actually doing. Keem literally had this bitch on his show, try to make up rape allegations. And then he had that's Zali true. go out. That's and true. say she talked to this girl privately and the girl told her she was raped and that was all fake wait is he t is this babs yeah 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 babs yeah babs is a lying whore so you're saying that like but King everyone everyone took her lame. word everyone took her word at everyone face value because they didn't like salvo that's my problem King. who's everyone the whole community the audience well not me because trust no cared. bitch is what i always say but yeah there were a lot of people who took her word for it the audience and all the creators like Xyli and Nick DiOrio and Augie, all these people went around and called Nick DiOrio took Babs' word as evidence. Like Nick, I've talked to Nick about this. He thinks well, Babs is like a completely untrustworthy source. After. I'll give Nick the credit. 
he put a kibosh on it on Xyli's stream when he realized that like people Nick was like one of the like, only few ones who defended Edwin. This is like you can't rope Nick into this. I don't know about Xyli. Nick, but... Nick put out a whole video about how Edwin is a piece of shit. But you not, know what for? Not over that, right? I don't even remember. That's for totally this guy, unrelated This guy is reasons. nothing. <laughs> Jesus right? Christ, man. The Oreos video. Well, if, if you're going to make a claim, try to remember what you're talking about. Specific points in Nick DiOrio's video. I'm not subjecting myself to, to two hours of Nick DiOrio. Okay. Then don't make a claim against yeah, him if you're going to act like you're above oh, watching his content. DiOrio. So, okay. So Nick is sitting in there. Does Nick have any problem with it? He's discussing it with Keemstar. He's a moral arbiter, right? He cares so much. What are you talking about now? You're still talking about the Babs allegations? No, wait, what let him finish. Hold on, you keep cutting him off. Just let him. Okay, okay. I, I'm trying to figure out what he's I'm talking, talking about. about the Babs well, if you'll let him talk. What else maybe. am I talking about? Yeah, I thought we were talking about the Babs stuff too. Yeah, well, we're talking about the Babs stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna pretend like he doesn't know what I'm talking about now. Wait, okay. Are can you? you I was waiting for you to speak. What is your what? Can you? Can you? Sorry, my inner moderator is kicking in. I. One at a okay, time. Say the argument speak again. One say at the time. argument again. Hold, one right. at a time. Go ahead. One at a time. Person okay. has to go, and then, but let him talk, so Larry. All and then of these people are seeing this stuff. They're actively partaking and joking around with Teamstar about it, but publicly, they're going to parrot that they're all like moral arbiters of society, and they would never Who's be involved saying? with doxing or be involved with smearing of somebody that's fucked up. But meanwhile, they're all involved because they're so, all talking to Kim about it and joking with him about it. So who is they? They, well, Nick DiOrio, Xyli. So you have proof of Nick DiOrio doxing someone in private but acting like he's above it, it publicly. It doesn't have to do with the... Babs. Keemstar is talking about this is a dumb slut drunk that I'm trying to convince to say that Savo raped her, okay? He's joking about it with everybody else in the chat. They're all joking with Keem about it. They're all completely complicit in it. They're going, oh, I hate Keem. I hate Salvo. I wish he was dead. We should, we should catfish him, all this stuff. Okay. Wait, do you think, do you think the dead thing might've been a joke? Well, sure. Okay. It could be a joke. I wish he was dead, but they're all in there while this stuff is happening. And Wait, so now you're talking like, about framing him as a pedo and also like threatening him. Can yeah. we stand one topic at a time? Are we talking about Babs? Let's stick on Babs first and okay, then we'll go well, one by one. Okay, let's stick on Babs then. So they yeah. all know about it. They all know that it's bullshit and they're all pushing that story, that it's true. So Nick DiOrio literally bullshit. said in the video that you were sourcing earlier on, he said in that video that the Me Too shit that they were doing to uh, Edwin and Salvo was gay. Yeah, but he's in the group chat. So, okay. What is that supposed to mean? Just because he's in the group chat of other people with differing opinions now, just because now because he's in that same group chat, he now is has to have the same opinion as other people in the well, chat. Is what, what is this claim? Okay. So, what? What do you mean? So okay, so Nick says publicly it's wrong, and privately he's laughing about it, and it's like, oh, this is based. Okay. Where has he said it's based? He's in there joking about it. And you're going to pretend like you don't know what what is going on there. You're so privately, go, oh, Nick said that it was based that Babs accused uh, Salvo and Edwin of sexual assault of some no, they're form. they're all joking about it. Okay, so now you're retracting the base thing. Now I you're saying to, only I they were joking. I personally have the logs myself to pick all of these things out. Well, if you're going to say something, I would assume that you would have like some kind of evidence to back it up. Like, okay, well, to be fair, I don't think this guy's going to watch like 16 hours of Xyli gets real to fucking find that. <laughs> right, I need, I he doesn't need, have to, I but if he's going to make a claim about that. something, he should be able to have something to back it up. I mean, this God, is one-to-one. -one. she's terrible. Look, can we just all agree on that? She really oh, she sucks, man. That, that was so fun. fucking boring. <laughs> oh, God, she is the worst. She did like 16 hours of stream. Oh, like, God. Like 16 hours. Yeah, well, nobody's was... watching that. That's the whole point. 200 people obfuscate it you know what i mean the whole point is to make it as boring as possible to make well it look like that's a theory that. that we talked about on the show for sure yeah, yeah. But, uh, well they, they couldn't have picked a better person i think that's right. i think, I, don't, I, think the the reasons, fucking, yeah, they, so, I think obviously xyli did it very boring but i think the reason that she was releasing all these logs publicly is to just get full context because if salvo is the only one who frames the narrative behind of out of context dms then you know he's going to be able to have it's he's going to be able to have he's going to be able to have this is a drunken bitch and she's not going along with my narrative that she was raped by salvo and she's a dumb bitch 
but we're going to redo this on, you know, and then he's talking to Xylee and he's going, Xylee, you're a dumb bitch, you blew it. I'm not saying, listen, listen, listen to what I'm out. saying. I'm not saying all of them are out of context. I'm just saying it is a smart decision to show all of the chat messages just to show all the context. So there's a record for it. Well, you, you get what really, I'm saying. Apparently, you're having the same idea as I did. I don't know how well it's going to well, work You know the picture there. they didn't share last night when she was going through the stream? It was a picture of Salvo and his wife that was in right. there unredacted yeah. in the group He's chat. Bernard to call Salvo's Wait. wife. Here's Salvo's wife. Yeah, Salvo yeah, posts pictures of his number. wife. That's not really like leaking her. Well, her I don't know where they got I don't know where they got it, but Keem posted like it was his or something. Salvo brags yeah. about his wife that he's posted multiple Post times pictures on Twitter. He, I don't know. He only I'm doesn't want to talk about his wife after they get divorced. Then they don't want to, doesn't want to talk about her. Well, he just I wants to be a victim so bad. So, you know, <laughs> if you, <laughs> you can be, <laughs> you can hope not to find out. Uh, and so I'm just not saying anything personally, of course, but I, I just know of some uh, situations. Maybe he's legally bound by something. That wow. No, that can't happen. Uh, <laughs> maybe he can't talk about his wife by court no. order. Have you ever considered that? No. What he say, no, because what he'll say is, my wife is private. I don't want you to talk about her or something, even though like he was perfectly fine talking about her while they were together, and he like used her to flex oh, on people. Yeah. And His wife is hot. Well, look, His dude, things can hot. change in the blink of an eye, <laughs> and maybe one thing you're flexing one, one day ain't in the collection the no more, and that time. shit... Maybe you had to change the collection around. You have to try to upgrade elsewhere. Look, these things happen. I don't know what to tell you. Ninety-two cent ten dollars. This is legit. The most okay. So what? Well, I guess what are, the, what are your main? What are your other main critiques? Perspective. Of, uh, I guess the least. Is, uh, okay, Nick is going out and saying, "Oh, this is wrong." Meanwhile, he sees it happening. He knows exactly what's going on, but he's going to pretend like he doesn't know anything. Oh, it's wrong for them to do that. Meanwhile, Kim is telling him about that he's doing it. So it's bullshit. It's just bullshit. I don't know what else you expect Nick to do. He publicly disavowed oh, it. What else is he supposed to do? By the way, I see Quack in my chat. What, what, what is this? Chat. Hold on. I, I want to answer this because he okay. says, okay, so suddenly she's private after he's there flaunting his hot wife, LMO. Well, look. They, it's not his wife anymore. Right? <laughs> what am I? Dude, things change. I don't know what to say. Like, a lot of things you flaunt, you think it's great, and maybe it was great. And now it ain't great, like, and they don't want to well, be flaunted anymore, and they don't want their shit out there, and or they want to get to their own, you know, right? Like, I don't know. Things well, Ralph, I mean, to be fair, you did say when you're a public figure, you got to expect like yes. your private info is going to be laid out there, Completely and people true. are going to people are going to talk about his wife because he he talks about other people's private relationships. Well, so I don't I know, know if how that that's true. Yeah, I know how that goes. <laughs> uh, um, it's just how, right. I mean, it's happened to me, so I mean. That is kind of just something like if if you had a public relationship and shit fell out. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of cool things about that. Well, but yeah, that, you know, when be she becomes your ex-wife, you don't okay, really want to talk about her anymore. Not from any <laughs> personal experience. I just speaking in general, of course. Yeah, but, I mean, Okay, okay, uh, but back back to what we're but back to what we're arguing about. Perspic, what do you else expect Nick to do after publicly disavowing says he disagrees for disagrees with the me too shit? We have these faggots talking like this. He, I just explained to you that the video you tried to source shows it shows that he disavowed it. I mean, I, what I'm just so confused on what he the point you're trying to make it. is here. Like, he knew about it privately and was was joking about it, but he disavowed it publicly. So you know that of of course means he's completely innocent. And he told Chris so what would you... to go fuck Salvo's wife. I mean, was that just joking too? And he was like feeding him lines to. What do you think? To to what do you think? I mean, I don't do you think, think do you think Diorio? Do you think? Do you, do, do you think Diorio was being 100% serious when saying that Chris the Narc should fuck Salvo's wife? You really think that's not Keem was in on that too. Keem was feeding him lines. I wasn't even yeah, talking about Diorio. Right? Uh, like, I mean, I don't know if it was 100% serious, but I don't think it was they're joking. Yeah, totally they're unserious. Joking, right? But they're joking in a real way. I mean, they're like, here's the number. Just do it. Of course they're joking about it because they think it's funny to fuck with Salvo and destroy his life. I mean, that's I, mean a, I don't know. know. Maybe it, it could be comedy, but it's just somewhat. Well, like, it is comedy every, to them. Keem was everything a joke? Like, to destroy people's lives. I mean, Keem, Keem loves that shit. And you got to uh, respect it. At least Keem is on. He's the only one that's honest. He's a complete dirtbag behind the scenes. And he's honest about it. All these other fucks are like, I disavow. I can't believe they would do something. Meanwhile, they're talking to Keem about it while he's doing it.
And he's like the Dark Lord. Like, what the fuck? And they're all in his cabal. Yeah, they're he's all known in there. and said he's the dirtiest motherfucker. That's why you can only fuck. They're right. That's you know what? I can like, I can rag on Kim, and then at a certain point, he's like, well, he's Kim. Like, I I don't know. He's like, Kim. is he by surprise? Okay, he but says he's the dirtiest all motherfucker. The, all, in the game. all of that, all of that is true. But something I've learned a long time ago: Kim's like a fucking cockroach. Like, if people keep exposing this, he will never go away. Agree. There's no getting rid of him. Yeah, you gotta. We like, have a perspective. Like, do you okay. back Salvo then? Do you I like support him? Of course, I back Salvo. You back Salvo, but you just said on how you don't like supporting people who aren't truthful. But just a few days ago on my stream, Salvo denied doxing Chris the Narc and Diorio for an hour straight until getting caught in his lie and admitting that he actually I did know do the it. Thing about the, the Diorio phone number, that stream I did watch. Yeah, and but you're backing a guy who's also not truthful. Diorio's like Salvo about everything, and then he'll he'll be involved in the most fucking shady shit behind the scenes and then he'll be like i don't understand that'd be like me going to ralph oh i don't under i don't know anything about anything we could talk him. more about diorio in a second but i just want to make it abundantly clear you just said you back someone who equally is as is as fake as you're trying to accuse other people of being he's salvo not, isn't badassly he trying to act like he's, he's confidently doxing people no he denies it until he gets caught red-handed and then he oh. has, is forced to admit it Oh, please. So what? He showed his phone number. I don't give a fuck. No, I'm you're not, not listening to what I'm saying. I'm not just saying that he showed the phone number. You're not listening. He not only showed the phone number, but then acted and tried to deny it as, as if he didn't and lied for a straight hour. So not only is he, he's not forthcoming with it. He did do that. So you're backing someone who you're, who does the same I, thing that you're I trying to critique others of. Stream, so I'm not going to comment on it. I, I have no idea. Okay, yeah, well, look, 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 hypothetically, look, 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 if this is true... Is Sorry, showing somebody's Google phone home. number the same as wiping them off the map? Wait, wait, wait. Is showing <laughs> Diorio's number the same as wiping out Diorio as a creator forever? Right. Getting him flagged off every single I mean, one's a, yeah, you can say one's fucked up, but the other is like, let's erase this guy and keep him erased and keep holding him down when we could at least let him back up to do, you know. I mean, how much are they joke? But like, some of it's not a joke. Like, you say, I'm flagging them right now, I'm flagging them, and then you show the report. They're flagged. You Wait, flagged what, what are you saying? What are you, what are you referring to, Nick? Here, I don't know. You keep pulling it back to Nick. You're, well, I'm no, trying to figure out who the you're fuck the you're talking about. You're speaking in vague terms, like <laughs> they. Who is they? Like the Jews. Sorry. I think uh, who's been recorded in there. I think uh, it's mostly Keem and Nick also flagged, and they said, "Oh, because he showed the phone number." Yes. Like, so, okay, do you not so think that Nick was justified in that flag? Or, no, I don't think. I don't give a shit. Okay, I mean, I guess we disagree there. I think if someone North shows publicly someone's your Rumble. private phone number, Ralph, you are more than justified to yeah, flag that down. First book might be gay, but yeah, he's not a faggot like the caller. So. If we're being, so then, uh, if we're being, uh, what do you want to say, Ralph? If we're being soft and we're going, okay, I really care about people. Yes, it's wrong to show, but somebody's private phone number. I personally would not show somebody's private phone number. But I mean, I've with, showed somebody's private phone number. I feel like it's justified for Salvo. They've been fucking with Salvo. <laughs> They've been trying to. Uh, you think it's justified for to... Salvo to show Diorio's number? Yeah, after they got him kicked and banned off like 20 Twitter accounts. Who is like, they? Where is the proof of Diorio? We're sticking on one person. You keep trying to like. It's all in the group to everybody. Give it to all these other people. In this all knows that it was being done. So it's they. Everybody in the group, there were a lot of people in the group chat, and half of them I don't so even know. So you're just doing this gay little get guilt by association. Anyone yeah. who's even in the chat. Yes, anybody who's commenting on it in the chat is aware that it's happening and they go around and they say, oh, false flagging is bad and this is bad. So and if you're in the same group chat, let's just let, let me just ask you, guys. if you're in the same yeah. group chat in someone as mm -hmm. someone, you automatically have to co-sign all of their beliefs. You can't have a differing in opinion. I'm in what are you saying? I'm with somebody and they're actively flat. My platform is I'm a moral arbiter of the Internet. OK, like the commentary community fact. I'm an, I'm a moral <laughs> arbiter of the community. And I'm in a group chat with people, and I know that they're actively deplatforming and false flagging people off the internet for petty vendetta. Yeah. Then I'm gonna. What say, is a false flag? Get the fuck out of the chat, or say something, or you're a little bitch. Yeah. So who false flagged? Well, Keem. Keem is the one that initially started a lot of the flagging on Salvo's channels. Do you so think Chris the Narc Keem. or Nicholas Diorio false flagged? Uh, I don't know. I, I would have to really intensively, I would have to get a raw thing of the things and I could go through and I could select it all out. I but you Chris do know is, is incredibly angry at Salvo for seemingly no reason. 
He's just angry. Seemingly no reason. He doxed his phone number on Twitter. <laughs> he doxed his phone number on Twitter. Okay. What was the fallout from that? The fallout of him doxing his phone number? Yeah. Well, what I mean, happened? why? I don't like you're speaking so happened? smug and act, acting as if you're above this all. I mean, is it not? Um, you just admitted that it's morally wrong to dox someone's phone oh, number. Yeah, it's morally I mean, wrong. It's morally wrong for them to flag Salvo and try to paint him as a rapist. I mean, uh, you got to be specific. Is, they, is, if it's Keemstar it's, platforming Keemstar Babs. Zyli and Keemstar and a lot of these guys, I remember at the time, they all covered. Salvo is a sex creep. Salvo had inappropriate, there was a, uh, a sexual assault thing in a car, in the backseat of a car. There were all of these things. They all covered it, and they all knew that that was bullshit from the jump. They all knew it was bullshit from the jump, and they all covered it, and they all went with it. I so, don't know yeah. how you would prove that they knew that they were purposely spreading false allegations. Oh, but, I mean, the biggest critique you could give them is maybe it was irresponsible, but, uh, I mean, you can't yeah, prove that they were maliciously doing this. Do what he did, sure. So what? They you could did probably, the same thing. You could probably argue that Kim knew to some extent just because of, like, the shit with oh, the Kim coaching. Knew. Kim was fucking this bitch with his girlfriend, Brantley, she Wait, told Keem them fuck all her? about yeah. Keem yeah. told she told them all about what happened with Salvo, how she fucked Salvo in his bed with Edwin, the whole what? thing. Keem was pissed, and he's like, "All right, I already have this bitch around my finger. What can I do? What can I do to really fuck Salvo over?" I'll it's just, just say, degeneracy. Wait, yeah. Keem's girlfriend's okay with him fucking other women. What the yes, fuck? They're known for that. What the Brantley fuck? Picks out the bitches at the bar that they're gonna bring home to fuck. Oh she my god! Open about all this stuff. Fucking DJs, dude. So this is what's going on, and then Keem in his glass house is gonna. That's throw true, by the way. Somebody else on the marriage, t- yeah. on the shit that it's Salvo released. Policy. Well, look on the tape that Salvo released. They're talking about fucking some bitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Brantley he's bragging Keem. about Skankly, all of as this I call stuff. Her. Skankly. Yes. He. I mean, you could have your. Stuff. You could have your critiques of Keemstar. I'm not necessarily here to I defend mean, I don't Keemstar. Care. Far for me to criticize somebody's sexual habit. I, you know, I don't give a fuck. The uh, point is, but, they but... fired the first shot. If you want to fire the first shot, you have to be prepared for the repercussions. This what? is what it is. You want to be in the dirty game. You want to be in the sewer. You're going to be in the sewer. Either you have morals. So anything goes now. Fire. I'm confused what you're trying to yeah. say. Anything goes. Yeah. You want to fuck with somebody and say that they're a rapist make up fake rape allegations and get them deplatformed and try to make them poor for no reason other than a petty uh a petty basically just like uh just be out of spite just to be spiteful then yeah you're opening yourself up to it all yeah i would say so i'd say those are the rules of the jungle if you don't like it get the fuck out i mean is that smug i mean i don't know i, I don't go around in real life if you did that in real life you'd be slapped in cuffs I mean, I, I just don't know how you would be able to prove necessarily that Keemstar went out of his way to platform maliciously, uh, you know, false well, allegations to try to paint him out to be a rapist. And laughing about it in the chat, and Keem is saying, this dumb gutter slut is not going along with what I want her to do, and she's, she's ruining my narrative. He's yeah. literally saying it. I mean, this is the all big, yeah, the, hold on. You can lyrics, critique him for platforming it. That's what ly- I'm saying. Well, no, no, lyrics. What would be, like, enough proof for you to establish that Kim probably had some role in purposely trying to use these allegations to smear Salvo's name. Like, what would be enough for you to like to believe that? Like, what? What is this Kool Aid? Yeah, I don't understand. I think you can make a logical. You can make a logical inference. You can make a logical inference off of like the shit they put in the chat that he was probably using weaponizing these allegations to smear Salvo. Well, I mean, usually if I'm going to say something of that magnitude, like you know, claim that Kim stars. Purposely well, spreading false rape accusations to this, smear someone. This isn't a movie, dude. The evil villain doesn't fucking announce his plans before exactly. he does them, right? I like, know. Just, I understand. No, no like, I get that. Like, and it's very hard. It's very hard to prove it. That's what I'm saying, too. But necessarily, I wouldn't say 100% either way. That's what I'm saying, is I wouldn't be confident in an answer either way. And I think it's stupid to assume. Well, no, I mean, there, there is, like, some basis to what this guy's claiming, though. I think he's making a logical inference off of, like, the shit that was, like, revealed in that chat that Keem said. Like, it, you could totally, like, infer that, like, Keem was, Keem was fucking using these to smear Salvo, these allegations. And they all knew it. They all and that, knew it was a setup. You can go ahead. I'm just saying, I wouldn't make this, I wouldn't make this claim in confidence. 
That's what I'm saying. But I'm not here to fucking defend Keemstar's cock. He can speak for himself. Well, you are, though. I don't understand why you are. <laughs> but you are because you're in that group chat and you don't want to be associated with it. I know that. You could say you didn't read it or you weren't at it at that time if you were smart. Yeah, because guilt by association is retarded. Well, yeah. Everybody who's reading that and and puts themselves out to be a moral arbiter, well, they know Keem is doing that and they're laughing Who about it. Who considers themselves a moral arbiter? You keep well, saying this. Who the fuck says that? Like Nick DiOrio and Omni, all these guys. Is just having positions are, and like like so consistent he, standards he a moral there, arbiter goes, now? Oh, you gotta be proper. You gotta you gotta embrace trannies. You gotta say this. You what the fuck? So if you embrace <laughs> trannies, you're a moral we're arbiter. On I mean, YouTube, I'm, guys. We're on YouTube. Is that get you banned? I forgot we're on YouTube. I forgot we're not a rumble. I'm sorry. It's all good. But yeah, I think so. I think uh, if you're gonna present yourself in that way, if you're gonna go out there and say this is wrong. You're going to say, oh, I disavow this. And you're in a group chat where you know they're actively doing it. I think it's... So bullshit. is Ralph Is Ralph a moral arbiter? No, Ralph is oh. not a moral arbiter. Ralph is not anybody he's a moral arbiter. I'm trying he to see what his definition... I'm trying to see number like 10 minutes I'm ago. I don't think... <laughs> I'm trying to see what his definition of moral arbiter, though, is. To see if he has... If you just have pos consistent People positions about, about something. Oh, my number is out there. I know I tried to say you were a rapist and all stuff, but you put my number out there. How could you do that? This is an invasion of my privacy. Well, so I don't know if Nick Dior, so okay. Nick Diorio never said he was a rapist. It's my knowledge. Chris the Narc never said he was a rapist either. So I don't know what you're talking about there. That. I know Chris the Narc was, I don't think that's true. I remember on that Xyle stream. See, I get them all confused, but there was a bunch of them on the Xyle stream that were all going. You get a lot of confused. You barely know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I do. I, I do know. know what I'm talking about. You see, very okay, dude. <laughs> I'm very nervous. I'm talking like this fucking sped. You don't even know the context behind like anything you're talking about. It's just like just an honest. eye roller. You're afraid of Keem. You're afraid yeah. that Keem. I got the Keem Jewish call. Bastard. Keem is I got an the evil call. Bastard. Listen, I respect that Keem is an evil bastard. He doesn't even wear a mask behind the scenes. He's an evil bastard through and through. And he doesn't. It's all these other people pretending they're not evil bastards who are laughing along with Keem. That makes me. That makes me laugh. And they're gonna cry and say, "Oh, he's he's giving out my information." Meanwhile, they all laughed when they when Keem gave out his number and Keem gave out his information and Keem said, "Contact his wife." They all thought it was funny. Aiden, step in here. This guy's like schizo ran in. Please, Aiden, I mean, give a, I don't, a position. Okay, I don't. The, it's hard for me to step in because I don't entirely disagree. Like I think I'm. I was. I was. Say super something critical. though. I need to hear someone else's voice, please. I, well, I mean, I was fucking He's critical of. I, I was critical of the fact that like people were like in cahoots with Keem while he was doing this shit. Like while we would probably go after anybody else doing the same shit. And I have every reason to defend Keem. Keem kick kickstarted my whole fucking career. But at the end of the day, the dude's a sociopath playing 4D chess, and everything he does is to benefit him. Um, and you know the fact that. The this guy's right by saying you know there's no point in criticizing Keem because it fucking like it goes right off him he doesn't care because he knows he that he's in the care. wrong, but all of like everybody else like I don't know why everybody like insists on like remaining so close to this guy when we've criticized leagues and leagues of people for doing shit that's not even remotely as bad as Keem. Right, yeah, like Alberto didn't they didn't they put Alberto over the coals because he he snapshot some bitch well that guy sucks that he's guy no sucks. no he's gonna defend uh, Alberto. Alberto. Oh. Alberto. Oh Alberto, Alberto, I, 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 Alberto, Alberto sucks, target. and if anything, Ralph, you should hate Alberto too, because you're like, what? you know, you know what? I, that's how Lurk started this. I can tell. Alberto? I like Alberto. What? Well, I mean, yeah, but you well, raped him Ralph, publicly for yeah, thirty okay. minutes, like. Well, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, Ralph. Like when you're like, like when you're like bitches lie, I agree with you. But Alberto like is now like on the fucking Me Too train, where he he literally was like perpetuating like false Me Too allegations that like these like fucking gay lefty YouTubers were like well, making against somebody else. Against him, didn't he? You don't like Just it. promoting the super mega back, stuff. They didn't like it when they got it back. Well, they can do use that the to term Alberto. Me Too stuff and then we'll talk right. about Salvo Me Too. Stuff. I don't know. I don't. I don't agree with um, any weapon. Of weaponization of uh, sexual assault or sexual harassment and all alberto stuff. lost his virginity and instantly became a feminist online like he's the most cringe motherfucker going <laughs> yeah i don't know I don't, I don't know anything about about the instant that. he touched a pussy he started like defending all oh, women tell me, tell me the personal gripe about against alberto you because can tell he, you really don't like him though yeah, you started our whole conversation he's so unlikable alberto. none of none of us like him he fucking sucks what, what? Do you? alberto what do you do to you? 
Alberto, Alberto is a is a Me Too perpetrator of women's lies about men, and I mean it's true. I don't know, Ralph. I don't know why you're like so adamant on defending. I mean, you out of anybody should be should be pro men, right? You should be you should be in favor of men against lying bitches. And at the end of the day, somebody That's like true. Alberto is perpetuating the word of lying bitches against men. Well, name the bitch. Uh, super mega. He he perpetuated the super mega Me Too allegations because some bitch said she was uncomfortable because some guy moved her head down while she was give while they were having oral sex. And the minute she said, "Hey, I don't want this," he let go. He's like, "Oh wait, you don't want it." And the instant and 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 I agree. Yeah, yeah, it's that. And his girlfriend is the one who convinced him. Wait, like wait, his girlfriend wait, he held the, the bitch's whole story. head down while she was giving him head. Is that what I'm hearing here? Yeah, yeah and then and oh, then the second totally she's like normal. I don't, yeah, yeah and then when it. she's like she's like I don't want this. He immediately stopped and apologized. Then this bitch still went and made like a whole video on him, like a Me Too thing. Yeah, well, and Alberto but, and his girlfriend perpetuated it. Well, look, I like those people. I mean, they could. Well, that was I can just disagree with them here. I don't know the whole details of the case. <laughs> so I can't say, but um, I mean, I, I don't have to agree with him on like. You know, holding bitch's head down while she sucked my dick. Uh, you know, that's a personal uh, decision. I think, uh, like, whether you think that's wrong or not. I don't, I don't care. Me, we we don't care if you. I, I can't think of getting that without holding the bitch's head yeah, down. Yeah, we're not. Point, like, we don't care if we don't care if you di if you like Alberto. We're just saying why we hate him. And he's also a schizo over Diorio. He's been posting about him for months now. Well, he hates um, yeah, and lying in his whole too, video. So I don't even really know who starts that, but I they both Diorio were like posting about that. each other for like Diorio's six It's months. nowhere near com yeah. it's nowhere near in comparison. Michael Alberto's posted a hundred times more than Diorio and actively lies about him in that whole video he did. I mean, what is there to like about Alberto? Well, what's this loyalty to Nick? Is Nick is Nick you like your best friend or something? You guys are very I I sense a strong loyalty to Nick. Probably the What's same the reason Ralph likes Nick? Alberto. Nick's always been like an all right guy to me. I think he's pretty. No, like no, sound. that's well, that's, even no, Alberto. I went that's pretty hard on Alberto, as Larry's has pointed there's out, no, like fifteen times. But it's like, well, he. This is the, this the thing. There's no loyalty. This is the thing. The stupid like uh narrative of there being loyalty to people well, uh, is ridiculous. You know, we don't. Even, no well, one's loyal. We in like like community. We defend what we think is correct. And if we agree with Diorio, you know, 90% of the time, then that just, we happen to agree well, with Diorio. We're not loyal to him just because he, he, just because he's a fucking New York fat guy. Like he's just relatively seems like you, he has a good brain. Making, on his wait, wait, are you making a reference to possible mob influence here uh, on the behalf of Diorio? Are <laughs> yes. we sure yes. he's not mobbed up? I, you know, Does I never thought about that. Feelings? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But this like stu this ridiculous like cabal loyalty thing doesn't exist. Well, it's clear it's real, isn't it? After this came out, it's clear that it is real. So if you have a group chat with way. people, you're now have like now you have a cabal that you're conspiracying against other people. I, yes. I mean, I wouldn't. Yes, I wouldn't. That's the whole point of the group chat. Yes, that's the whole point of that group chat. Okay. It's Do you have say, any group chats? It's for Keem to say, well, I'll just go through. You want me to just pull up and put in Salvo's fucking timeline in here? That you're gonna well, pretend he's that you're right gonna he's right people cut slack for keem that they wouldn't that they wouldn't cut for other people and i think that i mean i wouldn't maybe go as far as saying cabal but i i agree that that there's the like point that. of the group chat is for keem to tell people what to say and what to do i mean that's the whole point of the, the group chat for you to deny that i i think is kind of delusional don't you think the group why chat was for what chat? why does keem have the group chat well so it was originally nobody's on the internet it was originally started uh, back when the commentary community was in some drama with the T community and like whatever yeah. that bullshit was in the 2020, 2021 era. And he added a whole bunch of YouTubers to, uh, you know, just talk about what? the retarded drama. To do what? To, do to what? talk what about the, the, the current stories, to like share like yeah, things that were not information. To share the narrative that he wants people to put out there. Yeah. You're, you're trying to, cons like you're trying to uh, mix, well, you the, you're trying to fix this into the most malicious way possible. It's just, it's yes. not that deep. It's well, not that he's asking people. It's not that he's like sending out his goons to go report people or to do exactly what he says, like a fucking general. It's that he sees a, a couple other reliable YouTubers they and they share information about like current drama going on. It's not that deep. Like you guys are spurging over nothing. So it's just a friendly group chat. That's all it yes. is. Yes. It's a friendly, I've heard this excuse many times. So nobody reads it. Nobody reads this group chat with Keemstar. Keemstar is just adding. He just wants to be friends with you. What so are you implying? You what are you implying that he's a general he's that's a like ordering everyone to go around to do his deeds? What you just said, Keem had drama going on and he added a bunch of people that he wanted in on the narrative and he told them what he wanted them to say and do. 
So because let's see what's I mean, so what's the most so that. what's and Bo Blacks I saw what's him the in the chat and he's getting details about Froggy Fresh's contract with right. Creator Clash. Yeah, I talking mean, about like, the story. Really That's talking okay, about the story. What do you mean talking about the story? For Keem's not even supposed to have that contract. It. Yeah, come on. Yeah, for people to cover it. These people are YouTubers. Right. This isn't yeah, I mean, so what's more believe so what's so what's more believable? He was using that, that was an enemy Star of Keem's, like and I mean, they're all sitting in there complaining. But you know what I'm saying? So what's more Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna point out what your perspective is and mine. What's more believable that Keemstar, um, you know, wants to be involved in a whole bunch of internet drama, so he adds a whole bunch of reliable YouTubers, including Mudahar, yeah. Nick Diorio, Bo Blacks, yes. to just overall share stories and get knowledge about current drama going on, or versus your perspective that Keemstar maliciously was trying to add all these people to do his dirty work and deeds to go report on stories. Do you think he's like, doing as, it out of the goodness of his heart? If, when did he become? As if, and as, as it, and Keem and as if people like, and. It's an insane thing to believe that huge YouTubers who have a lot to lose, like Mudahar, would uh, succumb to Keemstar's orders. That's such a, a crazy conspiracy. It's almost crazy, like, Mudahar would get information that he couldn't get from anybody else except for Keemstar to do stories. Yeah, but that's not, how is that malicious? That's just, like, sharing news it's between, not, like, other friends. Malicious. It's just all the stories in there were malicious. If they weren't malicious, if all the stories in there were malicious, I would love to see stories. you back up what you're saying stuff there. Was pretty malicious about Salvo, about Tipster, about uh, malicious about Tipster. Yeah, they were just shitting on Tipster. Like, man, oh, you're tipster, defending tipster, all the tipster, worst. You got tipster, all the worst tipster, people tipster on your side. It. You got why Tipster you Alberto. Well, what's tipster, wrong with Tipster? tipster man? <laughs> Wait, Ralph, why do you like Tips? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I was just trying to get him on the show earlier. Who's next? You're gonna defend Flamenco? I mean, you're Jesus. No, no, wait a minute. I hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, I don't even. Tipster. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, no. I have to answer this calumny. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pretend like it was friendly. It was a very fake makeup. Hold on. Tipster, I'm pretty sure doesn't like me. We were trying to get him on earlier, uh, but traditionally, I don't think Tipster's a, a fan of mine. And you know, we I probably ragged on him. He I isn't. He fucking drinks trans milk on the daily. I think I did rag on him. I mean, he's like. He's pretty large, and you know, I've been. Losing Hipster would call you an alt right Nazi. He's like he best would hate friends you. with Keffels, dude. Like, yeah, well, we were trying to get him on. We thought it'd be funny. Plus, I it mean, would it would be, be. But like, I, what did he do? Like personally, though, I, I don't know. They act like this guy. Is he didn't. He didn't do much personally, except. Or, 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 Okay, no one's he's acting like he's a sexual yeah, but predator. They, they say he's Main cheating on his wife, of, but that isn't what he said. Yeah. He said his wife yeah, was down it's to funny. fuck with him or something. Like, it's fun. Here, okay, you gotta understand. Well, most things I, aren't malicious online. It's just like making fun of the guy. And the problem with Tipster, Alberto, all of these people who mainly get memed on and as uh, regarded as lol cows, is that they just can't take jokes on the shoulder. It was the same thing. Uh, but is Tipster it a started spurging. Like, Tipster his wife started. And he's yes. Not? Well, that's, yes, fucked that's up. funny. What do you mean that's funny. Now okay, you're the moral funny, arbiter over like, this. I'm, just, I'm not moralizing. I'm just saying what's funny. <laughs> Like, would you not be pissed if I, up. well, they call you lollycon larynx. Is that cool? They call you a pedophile. Yeah. Like, okay, no, they're just joking. No, if we, let's no say of course I wouldn't think that's cool. Well, you but, don't think it's cool? Well, why do you yeah. think he would think it's cool? And you to have say your own bag. You, you know, you're There's fucking a, uh, Turkey Tom's girlfriend. He's carving okay, fucking nice. names into her okay. chest. All this stuff. Okay. Well, we, so go ahead. A group chat leaks <laughs> of all of these people conspiring together to uh, dox you, to to flag you to talk about stories to get a bitch to come out and say you're a lolly con and you wouldn't have what? any problem with that that's just making content for you no ab absolutely no uh, uh, i i it's and i it's that's it's not hypocritical for me to say that either chat. what is this point you're trying to make well that's what they were doing to salvo in this group chat and you can't deny it because it's all there xylee has literally logged into her twitter account gone into it it's real you could see them doing it Dude, it's just bizarre that you can't like. It's just bizarre you can't fathom the fact that like uh, friends could start a uh, group chat. It automatically has to be malicious and like yeah, this crazy conspiracy thing. Chat, but that's not what was going on in the group chat. We already know what was going on in the group chat. It's real. It's been confirmed to be real. People have confirmed it's real. Xyli is logged into it, looking at it on her live stream. What is real? real? Can we? What is real? What is I mean, real? do you think it's so far fetched that Keem might uh, start the start this chat to kind of steer coverage a little bit and kind of direct yeah. people? I mean, we I mean, sure. That, I mean, that's that's, 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 that's no, very plausible. That, that could have I mean, been Keem's. There's probably that's, some that's very, too, right? But like, I know. That yeah, that's what I'm saying. That could be very plausible. That Keem star. The reason he all started it is because you know he wants to give his two cents and get people to hopefully listen to what he's yeah. saying. But isn't that what everyone does online? If we're yes. arguing right now, we're trying to convince the audience and convince other people that we are correct. 
it's the that's what everyone does chat. it's the content of the group chat it doesn't have to do they're not just talking like shit about people in the group chat that's the problem well, okay. and the content of the group chat is like Salvo. the things Let's you were saying stick on salvo because the salvo stuff is the stuff that i've read and okay explain this out uh, are we just gonna go back to like to the, the, the critiques of keemstar stuff. yeah i'm not here to suck keemstar's cock and defend him he can speak for himself the thing is, everybody's in there. They see that they're doing this to Salva. They see that he's doing this to Salva. And everybody's like, oh, I would never be involved with any of this stuff. All these people. And they like, like you go after. Like, I've already you, argued against this retarded guilt by association like, argument. Just because, target, just because like, you're in a group uh, chat with someone target. doesn't mean you have to co-sign all of their beliefs. You can have a different opinion of some, with someone if you're in the same group chat as Nobody them. That's ridiculous. Difference of opinion in the voice chat. They're all Nick DiOrio literally made a fucking video denouncing the allegations that Babs was sending at Salvo and Adwin, uh, Edwin. I'm pretty, was this he Adwin, denounced it and disavowed it. This? What's the date on this video for DiOrio? You, the, you're the one who sourced it. You should know better than anyone. I you tried to use that as proof against Diorio when it's literally no, shown in the video. That, video on Diorio. Yeah, because I'm you're claiming. About, you, because I'm you're claiming. Diorio on Xylee's stream. And I did say, I said to Diorio's credit, he went on that stream and said, listen, this is not good what you guys are doing. Like maybe like he actually put the gabosh on it. Cause he so you, you even know this. So then why are you why are you saying that Diorio didn't disavow this publicly? What I'm trying to figure out what the well, fuck you're even Diorio's saying. You just made a claim no that everyone didn't say anyone was just Diorio silent and didn't say anything pretending. publicly, but then you admit, oh, I do got to give Nick Diorio some props that he did disavow he publicly. You just contradict it. yourself like no. live. Diorio what are you saying? Pretending he doesn't know anything about it. What? He's what? Like he How is he pretending he doesn't know anything about it when he publicly disavowed it? He knows How does that make sense? The whole thing was bullshit from the jump. I'm at that's kind of a what this leap this though. guy's a fuck Aiden please a leap? yeah I I could I could get where you're coming from with the other stuff because I feel like you had some basis for that but it's like I don't think there's enough evidence here to say new Diorio yeah, knew Diorio all about it saw the ship was sinking Xylee fucked it yeah he's gonna pull the plug because he's directly involved in it but he's still passing it off publicly that he doesn't know anything about it he's not in caught he hates Keemstar you know how many times I've heard Diorio say he hates Keemstar? Keem's tried to destroy his life, and he's sitting in a group chat. I've Keemstar? I've never heard that. Uh, he's never heard pretty. That. I've said I've. They had a really bad falling out. Keemstar told me he was going to ruin Diorio's entire life. Yeah, well, this um, is that was years ago. That was years ago. Well, I mean, it was just ago. two or three years ago. I mean, it wasn't that long yeah. ago. Like, uh, but they've so. they've been cool. They've been cool for a few years now. Yeah, it's been a while now. But I mean, I have heard. Uh, yeah, I've heard. Them both say a lot of bad things about each other. So who doesn't know what they're talking about now? <laughs> uh, still you. It's nice. It's nice to finally talk uh, to Flamenco. Um, my name's Colton, and I'm about to whoop your fucking ass. So I don't understand <laughs> what your point is regarding the group chat. Um, do you think that someone being friends with someone who does a bad thing means that they're culpable? What do you mean they're they're not friends with Keemstar? These are not Keemstar's best friends. They're they're other YouTubers. These are not Keemstar's best friends. Stop you don't to think that multiple wait, wait wait so you don't think multiple youtubers can be friends nobody no. said that no, I, it's well what's his what do you think fred keemstar like, just yeah. randomly starting a society of friendship does that sound like something keemstar <laughs> yeah. fucking does like they I, knew each other wait you don't think they knew each other before the group chat was created maybe maybe wait what so do, do you think they're what friends or not saying? like make Nobody's up your mind fucking saying they can't be friends retard he just said that. Does Chat, did he put this guy not this flamenco weekends, guy? What, what are you like? Twelve years old? You sound like yes. a fuck. No, I'm eleven. Get it right. So you're wow, saying hilarious. That these people are all Keemstar's best friends. Okay, go ahead. Keemstar's I never. Okay, no, 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 I never said best friends, but I said they're friends regardless. Even if, even if they didn't even fucking know each other, to make this this argument that they they're somehow all conspiring for something. Great. No, shut the fuck up, cunt. To, to make this like Who argument the that they're all conspiring you know you shut over the this fuck thing. Up, motherfucker. No, 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 I'm not talking to you. Talk Wait, you, was you, I bitch. talking to you? No, fuck you. I don't care. You're talking to me now. You're talking. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your son's fifis? Did I hurt your little baby boy's feelings? Sorry, you wanted a flamenco replacement. I hurt his feelings, didn't I? I hurt your flamenco replacement's feelings. Who the fuck is this fag yeah. in the first fucking place? BS is back, boys. Nah, I'm your daddy. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, fuck you and your Yeah, mama. you couldn't afford it, honey. Yeah, you, you couldn't afford mama. it, honey. Yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, okay. faggot tranny hanging fine. around the commentary community. I can't say I'm surprised. Damn right. Uh, you love me. That would mean you love me, don't no, you? No, that you would mean me. you need to have enough of me. Another LP tranny.
Let's yeah, go. I'm shocked. Go ahead. Let's I'm shocked. Dude, you're getting you're getting owned by a trans person. That's embarrassing. God damn. You still haven't addressed yeah, anything I said. Go ahead. You Wait, so, well, no, because nobody was talking to you. I'm not talking to you. What the fuck are you? What the fuck are you talking about? I've been talking. I've been talking to fucking straight Robocop over here who talks like a fucking robot. Goddamn, tell you to talk to you, little bitch. Fuck you. I run this shit, not you. Fuck off, bitch. This isn't a group chat. No, you don't. Yeah, fuck you, whore. Yeah, you'll talk to me. You'll tell the line for Kim. You tell him. Tell Keem. I'll tell Alright, hold on. You, Daddy Keem. Keem. Alright, I will. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Who the fuck are you? Daddy Keem. Daddy Keem reporting for dude. Who the fuck are you? I'm the guy who destroyed Salvo's own gay op against me two nights ago. <laughs> but you wouldn't know anything about that because you believe Retard? everything he says. No, of course you, you wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't because you believe okay, everything Salvo says idiot. at face value. What? All right, you want to know what happened? All right, so Not essentially, really, Salvo no, thought that... Okay, okay, so Salvo... Good one. So Salvo organized this gay op where he sent a, an e-girl into my DMs, and then we had an e-date. Turns out, it was all... He thought he thought that he was setting me up. Exactly, exactly. Because here's the thing. Everything, everything that he thought he got me with was me sending his own messages to her, and he thought that I was actually saying them because he forgot that he got exposed for them a year ago. So I fucked, I fucked him up with his own messages. Sure you didn't just you get catfish and this is some elaborate plot yeah, that you've come up with. Look, so Dude, Lyrics happens. was there. Lyrics was there. He can vouch for me. Lyrics can vouch for me. Come on, it happens, you know. I vouch Lyrics for, can vouch for me. Everything Colton says is right. Everything Colton says is right. Yeah, I, I fucking got, I literally sent the, oh, I love being dominated by my wife or some stupid <laughs> shit like that. The, the Sabo copy pasta. I sent that to that girl and that girl was reporting back to Sabo's whole Discord server wait, telling wait, her what to say. True. They got wait, fucking Ralph. Raided. Have you seen those text DMs no, of Salvo admitting no, that he no, likes to watch no. girls get fucked in front of him? No. You haven't seen those? <laughs> I haven't read a lot. Yeah, isn't that but I've seen Dude, and he admits that he also wants to get pegged by fucking bitches. He well, was talking to one of his Discord e whores. I mean, look, if, if you want to if you want to go there, they say a lot of things about you. Uh, and they say, true. Of, yeah. I mean, I, look, well, no, the, the, hey, I didn't bring it up about you. I was bringing it about Salvo. Why are you I mean, so, why saying, are you defending Salvo so hard? I'm, I'm not, okay, well, I'm just being honest. There's shit out there about me too, but it's like, okay, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I didn't talk about you. I was talking about mean, Salvo. Why are you Salvo's defending him so like bad? This is an introduction of who I am. Do, do you want me to send you the DMs? We could pull up the DMs live on stream right now. Let's actually do that. But Salvo was telling these bitches to put their head in the toilet and flush it and then tape it. I mean, he was that's clearly- Yeah, he likes that's piss. Is that supposed to be a defense I mean, of him? That's I mean, funny. yeah, that's what- <laughs> Ralph, I mean, Ralph that's you were funny. shitting that's on Salvo. Thing, but like, you were shitting on Salvo for being a piss drinker. <laughs> After, <laughs> didn't like thing, Salvo, but... didn't Salvo like flake on you and you fucked, uh, you uh, shit on him for being a piss drinker? So you know all about this, don't you? Ralph would probably remember that. I don't think I, I don't think I did that. I may have been mad at him uh, at one point, but I don't remember. You're calling him out for the piss shit. Also, did you see like this picture? I have it live on my stream. I don't know if you're looking at my stream. But uh, he's kissing another man, making out with him live on stream. Is this the guy you want to defend? Are you talking about Edwin? It's not my thing. I, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, you just... You, you Let just me send said, you this. Wait, wait, wait. I was watching your stream earlier, and you said <laughs> something about... What was the metaphor? You were arguing with Aiden, and then you said, oh, if you kiss the man once, does that make you gay? As in saying that that right. doesn't yeah, make you gay. I thought you were defending kissing And then I theorized that... May, I mean, I don't know. It sounded that like is you not true. The man. You did say that earlier. We have you it on my stream. That. We have it on tape, bro. That was a hypothetical. Okay. okay well, that was a hypothetical. What hypothetical is that? Because I was sitting there thinking... <laughs> Look at you pivoting about the cut. Salvo that was crazy. Look at you that pivoting. You look at you pivoting from the Salvo I, gay I, and cuck allegations. Put them in the chat. I put them in the chat. I put them in the chat. I put them in the chat. Have you ever kissed another man? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I was already thinking that earlier. I put them in the chat. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull up the two. Pull up the two tweets. Yeah, dude. I'd rather have e dates watching Monster House than kiss another man. Goddamn. Wow. Okay. Look at those. We got your. We got your number. Read those. Read those out loud, Ralph. Read those out loud. I don't want to. I don't want to read them. What? So now you're covering. You're sweeping for Salvo. I'll read them. I'll read them. I'm a voice actor. Let me see. Let me see. Look at them. Come on. I can read them. Don't sweep for Salvo. Is this guy jacking off? What is the sound he's making over there? Okay, no. Um. Yeah. I mean, this is what Keem is claiming in his in his DMs. Yeah, I did see this. Uh, yeah, so but, I mean, I there's mean, other DMs we could go through. You're gonna read some of the just ones lately. I've been you? into being the submissive one. I just have to be crazy. Okay, okay, Colton, Colton, Colton. Ralph, why, why are you wait, Ralph, 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 you're bringing up things about me. You're saying, Oh, we should read the things that there's right, people say about you. Why are you defending? No, no, 
Why are you defending Salvo so hard? I'm not going after you personally, but you're, you want to retaliate going after me personally? Well, no, Why are you I'm this defensive for look. Salvo? I'm not trying to go after you personally. I'm just saying... Okay. That, does that mean does that mean Salvo is a bad person because they say these things about his? No, but you got so no, but you gotta admit you would shit on you would you gotta admit you would shit on everyone if they had this kind of shit coming out against them. I mean, and and the minute that Salvo would like backstab you, you would instantly pull up this clip of him kissing another man and shit on him for a week straight. Yeah, well, there's no problem with that. That's what I'm saying. But Ralph is acting like it's not a big deal now. He's saying. Uh, you know, if it's about his it's private life, then who really cares? I mean, well, I mean, I was this was public on stream, and, so like, enemies with somebody, I'd probably use whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever that's what I'm saying. Thing, so now, why like, you? Why would you? Be, and so, the one. I mean, he literally had... is making out. I, I did you pull up the stream? He's literally making out with a man live on stream. It's not my thing, Larix. I don't know. I, I okay. Don't know what to say to you, okay. like. Okay. I just want to make sure that you were. I just want to make sure you were aware. He might see that as comedy. I don't know. I. I, I, th partake. I think usually that's something pretty funny to laugh at, but it seems like yeah, Wait, no, I, I, think, I think we should be able to have a good laugh about that. Salvo. Like, I don't have to like, what do you have to speak for him? What is there defending him making out with another man live on stream? <laughs> These is a prank. This is a prank real. He might see it. I don't know. Maybe Ralph, Ralph, I just, Ralph, I just want you to laugh at this. That's all I'm saying. But you're acting pretty defensive right now for Salvo. I know. If he I said no homo, it's not gay. I just said I would do it. Like, what do you want me to say? I didn't say that you would do it, but I didn't say you would do it, but you're saying like, you know, his private life, even though this is live on stream, making out with another dude i just want you yeah, to have a laugh private. at this, this the... yeah i mean that's not private uh, uh, yeah so i just want to told you know? when no homo after they fucked so it wasn't gay that's what i just said <laughs> okay okay <laughs> i phrased it in a funnier way i'm better than you but ralph i'm just surprised i thought you'd shit on him a little bit more you know given your given the ralph First off, i don't know what's true i mean i see him kissing him or and everything you don't know there. what's Obviously, true i wouldn't do that but as far as keem saying they fucked and all that i know they ran a train on the one bitch or whatever but i don't they know that they actually fucked each other yeah, I don't know. Like, that's Two dudes thing. in the same bed, that's though? another thing. Well, so what? I see. I don't really... So they what? each other lyrics? I don't know. Those are two <laughs> different things. Like, I, Their dicks were pretty close if they're in the same bed. I don't know. That's not my It was Michael Jackson no, style. They were just cuddling. That's not my thing. There's two different acts. I personally, two I personally would not woman, be that near. Two men fucking each other. I never, like, I never would be that close to another man who's naked and has his cock out. That's just me, though. Don't you think this is all a fucking diversion? I mean, this isn't happening to do with being gay. I mean, is Salvo gay? Is it gay to kiss another man? Yeah, I mean, I have no problem saying that. That and that's really dude. And, and here, you okay, guys are well, taking it. You guys are taking it way too deep. Play. You guys are acting like, is this a moral wrong? Who said it's a moral wrong? I'm just showing you something to make fun of the guy over it. It's pretty funny that he made out with no, another man that, live on wait, stream. But on. you guys are acting like this has to be like a pedophile allegation no. when it doesn't have to be that serious. Look, I'm not. You know, it, not everything is that laughing, serious. Like, it's just something you can laugh at. Like I'm not mad about it. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. They did though. That's the irony of it all. I mean, they had everything for the taking, but Keem has got to take it to the level where he's trying to fucking. Smear thing. with face rape allegations when it wasn't even necessary. There yeah, was that, that didn't have. Why are you talking about rape allegations happened. now? I'm just bringing up that they kiss another man. I'm just laughing at this. Yeah, but You're look, taking my it whole back thing to that. about the kiss another man thing is they try to give off the impression that they fucked each other, and that's. Wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a completely separate other thing. This is live on Salvo's stream at yeah, his I mean, like I house. Can't deny this wasn't at the Keemstar show or anything. Like I, yes, I know that. Yeah. Dude, yeah, they definitely used your radar. Like, look at that fucking photo. There was tongue all over. Like, he was and also put. He was kissing the homie. He was kissing the homie goodnight. It's not. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> Aiden, you thing? are you are defending these people's cocks so hard tonight. It's. it's I, no, they, they had their clothes I'm off. They're just getting ready I'm for neutral. bed. No, it is pretty gay. It is pretty. Yeah. Gay. No, I mean, Ralph, did you also see and... Ralph? Did you also see the other tweet I sent earlier of him yeah, talking about grooming that. Tommy C's son? Like, I... look at this little boy. Like, I feel bad for him right there. This is what Which Salvo's is saying about boy. another man's son. That is horrible. What if he said that about your kid? That's not oh, good. Look. <laughs> like, what if he put out a tweet saying, "Step one, I'm gonna groom Ethan Ralph's kid. Step two, me and Ethan Ralph's kids start to date." Jesus, look at this little guy. That is horrible. And then step three, well, my me and like Ethan Ralph's son old. gets married. I mean, not that that's and then good. He's well, fantasizing. Okay, he's that's fantasizing not, about. Kid is like ten. I, all right, I, it's I like can't step. defend that. It, like, what do you want me to say? Like, I. I'm just trying to make it. I'm just trying to put it on your radar that this is the guy that you're defending, and this is the guy on your side. So I just want to point that. out. He's not defending that. No, no, no. no I'm just saying this. Is, these are the players that are on your team. I'm just trying to make that aware to you to make sure that you don't want to like co-sign the wrong okay, people. Okay, I mean, guys, I'm looking guys. out, was, Ralph. Ralph, I'm looking out for you, man. He, he was saying. Look in the group chat. <laughs> we're, dude, we're getting started. I don't know what he posted. I, I can't. I see. just got sent. Is this your sexting off? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I'm not pulling that up, but I guarantee it's something fucked up. So that's yeah, why it's so fucking steamy, dude. Augie and Nick and Connor are laughing like hyenas. I'm reading this live to a thousand people. They destroyed my sexing. It sounds like you like to sex a lot it's of like, people. Dude, I definitely do. You want to watch the? Hold on. Should, are we gonna like? You, if we're gonna not, read through this, are we gonna watch the clip? That's not something to put on your resume, bro. This is not. No. Know. Okay, Aiden, you're so fucking stupid. Active day off. Here, you admit that you like to sex all the e girls on Discord right here. Yeah, I do. No, you're you're totally right. That's real. Yeah. Well, so. So you're full of shit. So you. You're I guess I am. Can we shit? get tips yeah. in here, please? Please, Jack, please. please. I just got raped live on stream. Please get tips in here. <laughs> you're more. You're more likely to get flamenco on, dude. Who has <laughs> tips on? Yeah, get oh, flamenco dude, in here. Let's get him get in somebody. here. Yeah, yeah. Get flamenco in here. He's gonna say the hard R. Definitely. Rip him away but, from his uh, child. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Lolly God. Boy soprano. Boy soprano. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy soprano. And um, get him in. Wait, wait, wait. Real quick though, Ralph. Before we move on. Did you want to read these texts that got leaked about Salvo on stream of him saying that, uh, what, what, what does this say? What it's also a spectrum, do? like a girl that, whoa, whoa, hold on. Let me read this. I like a girl that I'm very close with and trust. My biggest kink is to share her. Yeah, Jesus, he's just Jesus, me Ralph, did you whatever. see this? And then face fucking, so you're defending him, admitting to being cucked and like wanting to be cucked. I'm also, are saying, you going to, wait, 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 let me read this out before you decide to defend this guy. What let the me fuck read this up? one out. Jesus. I love being... I've loved being submissive lately too. I'm into pegging, being degraded too. Is that someone who you want to defend these messages of? Is this him just telling the girl I anything? You got to get in her pants. Those messages, I, I couldn't say. First off, <laughs> they they are okay, Salvo, admit, Salvo if they admitted are real. to sending them. Salvo if they are, yeah. so what? Ethan I mean, Ralph, if they are real, Salvo's what would personal, your opinion be about this? Whatever he wants to get in with, that has no bearing on uh, my judgment on. The matters that we've discussed. Yeah, so, anything to get away. So you wouldn't care if he gets pegged in the ass and like. Why would I care if he gets pegged in the ass, lyrics? I'm just. Hey, well, well you seem to care. You know. You seem to care. You seem to care. Well, I'm like, just trying to figure. What he takes up his ass. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Well, you seem to care when he was talking about his piss allegations, so I'm just wondering, you know, pegging on the scale I don't of kinks. Even remember what I I'd said say pegging there, is a lot worse. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, was like, so I made some reference to it or some shit. I don't remember. Uh, but it certainly Listen. wasn't anything personal. I was probably just pissed he didn't show up or some shit. Like, I can't. Maybe that's not the right word to use. Well, there, I, but, just next time uh, Salvo backstabs you, I just want to give you this ammunition that well, he, he likes being pegged. Me. I think and he, he likes. Missing appearance no, I'm saying, I'm saying. Well, okay, okay. I'm just saying next time he gets on your radar. Whenever that happens, if you guys fall out, I'm giving you, I'm just ahead of time, I, I I'm predicting the future, giving you some about, good. But yeah. I vaguely remember like a misbooking or something, and I may have made an allusion to it or some shit like that, but I don't, wait, I wait, really wait, don't what? remember. <clears throat> and to cap this off, this may sound weird, ha ha, but one of the hottest things to me is me and my girl going Can I out read it? together. Let me read it. Let and me read watching, it. Well, Colton, don't spurg. Oh, well, I'm a voice actor. My girl, my girl going out together, so watching her flirt and pick up a guy. Jesus, and so we bring him back, to... and we both fuck her. Ralph, Ralph. I mean, That's I've bad. seen the, I've seen the text. I mean, what do you want me to say? The answer is not going to change. If, the, if these are, if these are real, that you know, I, I just want you to say something, like laugh, anything. You got nothing. I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, I, <laughs> I, I feel like if this was one of your ops, if this was flamenco, you would be reporting on this for the Flamenco's next month. Flamenco's a pedophile, dude. No, I mean, like, these are two different things. Like, based. About Very so true. To deal with what's going on. I just think it's funny. That's that's so. Just Ralph, it's I wanted to give you this ammunition. Who cares? Or he's a cuck and he's homosexual, and that's between him and God when he's burning in hell. But nope. all right, listen, listen. I need to ask my buddy Perspic here. So those DMs that they just uh, read, do they sound familiar to you at all? Not they really. muted me. What the fuck? Oh, there. Nobody muted okay, you. well, because those um. Well, this is what the chat is telling me. I'm Nobody muted. Going. All you. right. Nobody well, muted. Well. Oh, all right, yeah, that's weird. But look, look, look. So those those messages that you think are an own that you're sending me in this group chat right now, th those those are me trolling them back because they think they were opping me. Like one of the messages oh. that I sent was a copy pasta of what we just read. Bro, it was so a troll. Funny. So I don't know who's that's like cool. sending you okay, this okay. stuff. That's it's a cult. cult. No, Lurk saw me fucking own Salvo with this live on stream. This is just a cult, bro. Come okay, wait, wait, wait. Do we got? Wait, do we got anyone else we can invite? Ralph, you know any like Spurgs we can invite? Somebody named Dingo wants on. Oh, oh does God. Dingo actually want on. on? God, that would be amazing. That's what they're commenting. Is yeah, somebody people on. are saying they want me to debate Dingo on the Holocaust? Uh, God, that'd be good. That sounds <laughs> great. Let's, Let's do, that do that. Kill stream. Would you do? I do it. Yeah, I do it. Okay, awesome. I'm assuming you're. Well, I won't say. Uh, 
You believe in the <laughs> official narrative. I'll, I'll... <laughs> yeah. I do. Yes, I do. No, that's, okay, okay I'm still on YouTube. Yeah, we could probably set that up because uh, I'm pretty sure Dingo doesn't. Uh, okay. So, perfect. Perfect. That'd yeah, good, that'd be yeah. great. He's done blood sports on the show before. Yeah, I, I would like that. Okay, I'll get in I'll touch do. with you on that. Wow, we got a booking possibly here. Okay, this has definitely been worth it. Wait, hold on, Colton uh, though. Colton, I, I feel like you have something else in the tank. You wanna, you know, oh, you got, you got so something much. else to fire. Yeah, it, who it's is all, this it's guy all this anyway, Larry? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't even know. He's an orbiter. He's an orbiter. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, I'm, right. I'm just, I, I come around when I'm needed. Yeah, I'm, is I'm he trans. Really, or did I'm, I just make that up? <laughs> no, 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 I'm trans. I'm trans. Yeah. Wait, you are? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I turned female day. last night. It's fine. All right, just um, give so whatever you're going to say. All right, all right, Daddy. So, look. Um, Don't ever pick, say that to me. The the issue, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Papa. So, the, the issue, there's some issues with what you said earlier. So, so with um with the Bab stuff, I feel like you got something um mixed up there. So, what what happened, what neither Babs nor Keem were, like, actively, at least from what I gathered, were actively, like, trying to paint Salvo and Edwin as bad as possible they were showing bad something bad that they did which is like or you know alleging something bad that they may have done be, be fair here um which is like just saying oh do you want to do this do you want to do this do you want to do this but they never tried to imply like rape or something what happened was and i i'm saying this because i was sort of part of it i was also being vented to by babs behind the scenes before the keem stream where it all got out so what was essentially <laughs> happening was Babs was telling me and Keem and Brantley all this stuff, and she was basically saying how, how she felt by it, and so that made it sound a lot worse than when she went on stream and just said the cold hard facts. And so what happened was Keem was confused, like he thought that it was something much worse, and that's why it sounds like he 24 was 24 away from the stream. goal, they can't hear Does me right now. This guy sucks anyway. We're so close uh, to the goal. Power chat, really, no. rumble rants, everything. Okay, who cares about oh, yeah. like Colton's literally little, little gay op with some <laughs> random e whore? Yeah. Colton, Colton, oh, I, I was gay. Shit. Okay, Colton, give us something else. I know you got something else in the tank. Come on, catfish, uh, Colton, go ahead. No, I mean that doesn't make catfish, any Colton. Sense. I like that. Stars hanging out for like weeks with this bitch, fucking her. So no, that doesn't make any sense. Why do you think they were getting together? It came in, because uh, they bad. talk about it. Because he. Do you have screenshots? Oh, I have to look. Let me get cinemas in here, by the way. Let me get cinemas in here, by the way. Yeah, uh, we need more people. We need more people. Okay, why not? Preferably yeah, drunk people or people that are going to start yelling. Yeah, I don't know if yes, you're drunk. Yes, please. Or um, transgenders. I'm so <laughs> Yeah, can we get Jalen in here? <laughs> oh, I'm inviting Jalen. Yeah. Oh. Let me get okay. All right, cinemas. Uh, you're name in is here. transgender. Oh, cinemas. We're actually adding Jalen. All right. I Yo, don't know so. This so what's going on, Lyrics? Like, you, you like to stand on this high horse where you claim these leaks are a nothing burger, yet you've done four streams on them. You claim you're above it Ooh. all, yet you consume Lollicon and your best buddies <laughs> confirm it. You claim you're the best content creator, yet Nicholas Theorio... That's, what I, that's said, what I do, yeah. That's yet me. Nicholas yeah. Theorio I can said you be gone within a week, and he said you're a brain-dead retard. What's your response to all that? Let's do point by point. This sounds like great content. So what first? I'm a pedophile? Should we should we talk no, about that? Uh, okay, no, let's go into Nicholas Theorio and the leak saying that you'd be gone within a week because you're literally brain dead. Oh, back in like a few months ago. I already talked about it on stream, but like very similar. Me and Nick had a disagreement. I was uh shitting on some people in the commentary community that I rather not bring up, but um Ooh, and yeah. uh we were getting we were getting into wrong? arguments and like now we're more cool. So I mean Are it's just if you've me? ever had a, if you've ever had a disagreement with someone or gotten to a heated argument, you obviously will think they're a retard cool. in the moment, but obviously you could be cool with them in the future. Are you shitting on Actually, Turkey Tom person. or who are you shitting on, bro? That's a nice profile picture you got too, by the way. I fuck with it. What's the next topic? What do we got next? <laughs> you didn't respond. No, my question: Were you shitting on Turkey Tom, or are you shitting on the community? Uh, you me. know, you know, you know. I uh, I have a seal. Keemstar David. I'm on his payroll. I can't talk about this. We I do know that he DM, he did DM you about. I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting. Yeah, I got the call. So we I got the call. I can't speak we about can't this. Say yeah, yeah. Sorry. We're sweeping. Unfortunate. I am. Yeah. Keem sent right, what's Keem next? Uh, okay, well, I'll just go into that. I'm above it all, that I'm the I'll best content creator. No, 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 I'll go into something that's not a direct attack. Yeah, where did Why that you come let from? The... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm curious too. Where did that come from? Is Jalen in this call? Wait, Jalen joined? Yeah. Why am I yeah, here? Jaylen. Don't why say the other. Uh, why am that's I all here? you have to do. Okay, well, we can address you in a second. I know, Ralph. We just Ralph, like to keep you around. Kill Stream Hall of Fame. 
if you drop this word. <laughs> I know Ralph. Ralph is gonna want to have some questions for you, especially looking at that profile why picture. Why you Ralph. say? Why, why yeah. do you say like that? Why do, why do I have to have questions? Well, I mean, I know you're a fan of the transgenders. Say, lyrics, you're trying to say fucking distract. I right, true. Okay, let me stop sweeping. Well, he just doesn't want to talk <laughs> about anything, but well, he has no. no he has nothing. Sarah, I'll go into something that's that. completely non-confrontational. Why do you let this faggot Colton come okay, on? Okay, dude, can we chill? Wow, okay, great point. Hey, uh, chill with the slurs. Come on. Can we let okay. this faggot Colton hey, come hey, on? Hey, man, we got some. Hey, we got some great content going. Let's not try to ruin the content. Okay, okay. I won't. Hey, whatever, on, man. dude. You'll get away with one F slur, dude. All right, relax. All right, I've had just... like eight. <laughs> I've had like had and couple. two N words. I understand. Why do you let this guy Colton come on your stream all the time and just ruin it and talk about like? How did I ruin it? Pronouns. Fucking... Shit. pronouns when did I talk yeah. about pronouns? I mean, well, this you're is the lamest. You're the lamest person besides Parking Tigers I've ever seen on a live stream. Like you, you can't deny that he's entertaining. Like the minute he came in here, everyone was screaming at each other. Dude, the I best watched moment. your stream last night with Salvo, where he had a quote-unquote debate that wasn't even <laughs> scheduled, and it was awful. And I'm pretty. Did you really come in to ask why I put Colton on? I mean, we all yeah, saw he's your, crazy, funny, your entertaining. Fucking... Dude, he's bringing like, in way better. He's, he's bringing in way better. Colton, stop burning. Right, he ahead, brings sorry. it. Colton's way more entertaining than you. You came in here born as fuck. Can we get like? Yeah, what's well, the next okay, question well, you got? How about we talk about why you jacked off the lollycon, bro, and you criticized Flamenco for the same topic? So I would love. True. I would love to talk about it. What, can we get some, you know, proof or evidence? Well, I, heard that, I heard that Liam Doherty seems to be a pedophile. Okay, dude, can you? Can we, Ralph? Can Dude, you kick this guy? He's really just here. Fucking, oh, I, I kicked him. Him, Jesus Christ! <laughs> we are on the kill stream. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I didn't know that he was gonna do that, but uh, yeah. I think well, he I was guess, upset that I'm entertaining. Well, Ralph, I, I should have seen it coming. There. You know, it's it's part of the game. You know, it's part of the game. Well, <laughs> I, yeah, it's part of the game. But um, yeah. I, they they said they got your name off some site or something. So I don't know that that's. Yeah, after someone died. Okay, well. I don't know. Jalen, what do we got? Look, it's not my thing. I just saw them say that. If you were smart, you wouldn't confirm it. That's all I got to say to you. Well, yeah, I'm not as smart as you, so I fucked up. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Jalen, Jalen, I know that you would never betray me and say my, uh, you know, information. How are we doing today, Jalen? No, we're doing, we're doing good. I mean, I guess we can talk about the biggest loser, Salvo Pancakes. Well, I'm more concerned about Ralph's opinion on your this profile is, picture. Ralph, I, do you see uh, Jalen's no, profile I don't, picture? I, don't I, don't see that. I have what your are. I can't see it. This is. This no, is I can describe a, the picture a, to you. Lyrics, this, is a, cat lyrics, ears. this is a pitiful sweeping attempt. You've brought in the transgender brigade, <laughs> yes. and you are attempting to sweep up the topic at hand. Uh, I thought Salvo was complimentary of uh, Jalen last time we talked. Not today. We didn't talk <laughs> yeah. about you, but um, during the. Like, yeah, yeah. Salvo, yeah. Well. Oh, you see, you, you see, you see. The thing is, right? I found out Salvo was into like I, I some cucking. Thing. You know, he he was into cucking. He he was into piss. He he was into okay. gay sex. You know, it, it just seemed very degenerate. So like, You're I had to drop him. Your penis off. What do you, what do you have to say about Salvo? Salvo Salvo's a freak. Okay, he's a degenerate freak. Degenerate. What's worse? Wait, this is actually a good moral question. What's worse, cutting off your cock or? Being into being getting cocked. cocked or being transgender, what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. yeah. I mean, what are you can we get a about? can we get a roundtable discussion? Right, this is I want to see the kill stream moment. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> what's worse, starting off with Ralph? What are we thinking? Being a cock I or mean, being a transgender? You have to cut your dick off. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a no-brainer. You can't cut your dick. Yeah, it's off, a no-brainer. Right? <laughs> okay. It's a no-brainer. Is it really like? Off. It's a funny question, but I mean, you can't cut your dick. I mean. In my opinion, I, I I'll live with it. I'll live right. with having my penis. I'm gonna run, boys. Good chat. Uh, take <laughs> yeah, care. I'm. I'm worried about my Get fucking channel seat. getting so, nuked. Uh, I. Uh, I love you, we, Aiden. We may. We may have to call like, what it. What am I supposed to say? Like, I... no, 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 Ralph. No, 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 Ralph. 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 This is. This is great entertainment. I'm more talking about the N words in the docs. Uh, yeah, Ralph, it's been a, it's been a good showing. Uh, oh wait, was there an I, actual N word? I didn't hear that. If there was one, I hope not. There was one it earlier. It sounded like it, but. Oh, um, I didn't hear. Ralph, I don't think. I don't think. Oh, there was I didn't hear it anymore. Ralph, good content. Uh, we should do. It. We should do more shit in the future. Uh, this yeah. is way better than I expected. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. So. Good game, everyone. Bye. Well, that was fun. That Colton guy does suck pretty bad, though. Although, Larry's fair point. It did fire things up a little bit. Also, I was being diplomatic. I know some people wanted me to go in there, uh, a little more guns blazing. But uh, you know. There was some sweeping going on for sure.
Cinemas went so hard. Holy fuck. I did not I did not know that he was gonna go in like that. I could tell that that did Boy. that didn't go I knew that that would piss him off probably. I, I wasn't trying to take it to the extreme level too so we could have a longer segment. All right, but, we're back. Well we'd been on for a while, so uh yeah, we're back here. Uh I finally uh, got everything I couldn't figure out how to get th- this to work again. Also, there's a there's a song. So this came in from North. I hope he's still there, uh, Frank, in the chat. And I see one come in from. Well, we made lyrics James so Gardner. desperate, Ralph. We had to invite like multiple trannies to just completely derail the conversation. You just couldn't answer a single question. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.